Yo, what's going on guys? Alright, so we actually are at the park right now, but since it was fucking raining like an hour ago, there's nobody here. So we're just going to go to downtown and we're just going to stay in the most walking places with the most walking traffic and I'm not going to fucking, we're just going to stay like far the fuck away from anything. So we don't really have a choice, like there's no way at the park because it's raining, so it's fine. Uh, we have a friend in the back. She's gonna help hold the camera when we actually get there. But, uh, are you ready for this, Stevie? Hell yeah. Hell to the motherfucking yeah. I'm ready for this too. I'm ready to look for some women who are very vulnerable in the press and have daddy issues. You know, I have not done fucking like what a do shit in so long. <laughs> but now I have the excuse to do what a do shit. Yeah. And I know, I, I always like doing the what a do shit. I mean, not anymore with my situation, but. I always like doing the what to do shit because it's like a test of will. It's a test of can we make this work? Can this happen? And it was always fun to me. I don't know. It was always fun to see if girls would fuck with us or not. But I mean, I guess we'll fucking see. Um, I just hope that there's fucking actually people as well in the city because I mean, like I said, it was raining like an hour ago, but we'll be in the city in like five minutes. We drove out to the park. There's nobody here because it's raining, so we're like, all right, fuck it, just let's do the city. Just work. I just, I just hope there's people besides crackheads on the sidewalk. That's what I hope. Because I went out last night for like an hour to drink some beer uh, with Stevie, and there was literally only crackheads outside <laughs> and like homeless people, and like it was not. I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to have that be the content, dude. I mean, I'm sure Stevie's not trying to get with some crackhead woman either. I mean, dude, down for whatever. I mean, you did say you wanted to go on Grinder, so what can I say? Fuck it, dude. I mean, what kind of uh, person would... Crackhead Andy. What kind of person would you be looking for? <laughs> whatever I find, man. Shit. Times are tough, man. You can deal with whatever you got to deal with. So you would fuck a crackhead? I mean, if I have to, sure. I'm down. I'm down for everything. Okay, well then I guess we can fuck a crackhead then. I don't know. We'll see. I really fucking doubt that it's gonna work out. <laughs> see. I mean, it's honestly not gonna happen. But uh, still, though, let's let's. It's honestly not gonna happen. But you know, at least we can like make it seem like it's gonna work, but it's not gonna work. Honestly, come on, dude, let's be honest. What do you mean? I mean, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. But sure, it's not gonna work. A crackhead, dude, definitely will not even go with us. You're gonna want money here. Crackheads will probably be the only ones that will go with us. Wow. But we're gonna avoid that. We're gonna try and get some normal ass people here, so just wouldn't worry about that. Now, with me, how my approach on on women is very uh, blunt. I just walk up and I'm just like, oh, you know, fucking, what, what's up? What did do? Like, fucking, what did do? Do you want to just come over to my house? Like, that's my approach. And if you do that enough times, eventually one of them will say yes. Especially if they like the camera, they're very, uh, you know, they're. Girls that are not very camera shy will like this shit. So I don't know. We can we can just use the camera to our advantage, Stevie. Yeah. I think that's gonna be the way to do it. Otherwise, uh, I don't see us succeeding whatsoever here. Now I don't. I'm not saying I have any game whatsoever, chat. But I am saying that I have the ability to walk up to people with confidence, and I feel like that's all that really matters. Even if you have no game, you're awkward as fuck. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but as long as the girl does, as long as the girl has low self-esteem, it always works out. You just have to have more confidence in the other person you're talking to, and I think it works out. But I don't know. Like I said, we'll see how this goes. What do you What do you guys think? How is this gonna go? Uh, what to do? Watch out, he might ram the car into people. Okay, no, he's not gonna do that. Why the fuck would he do that, dicks? I don't know, but thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. You guys think it's gonna work out or no? Hell no. God, bro. <laughs> you have to have confidence, otherwise it won't work. If you don't have confidence, then it will never work. <clears throat> but if you have, like if I go out 
and I say, okay, I have no confidence in myself. It's not going to work. But if I go out, I'm like, I'm going to come back with some pussy. It always works out. Like 40% of the time, so. I mean, I, and he's got the, the Texas jersey on, so I don't know what team that is, fucking football, but. Uh, the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans. Obviously, there's some football girls out there. They'll probably appreciate Yo, shout that. Shout out to all my H-Town niggas. I mean, he is from Houston, so Houston's kind of ghetto, ain't it? Nah. He's allowed to say that because he's from the fucking ghetto, so. Or, <laughs> I don't know what part of Houston you're from, but you're not from the hood, are you? I'm from Third Ward, Fifth Ward, representing. People have been told me to go to Houston a lot, but I'm kind of scared to go to Houston. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's, it's hood as fuck over there. It's, it's like Austin, man. Just it's more not, try hard. Dude, it's not like it's. <laughs> it is hood as fuck over there, dude. Ah, you'll be fine. They're harmless. I don't know. I mean, I'll go to Houston one day, but I'm just saying, I'm fucking scared of shit, so. I'm just a bitch. I mean, maybe I'm just a bitch then. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Your nose is huge. It has its own area code. Alrighty, you're really funny, dude. <laughs> My nose does not have its own area code. My nose has a lot of gold in it, but that's good. <laughs> So I can pick that shit out and sell, to, and sell it to some, I'll sell it to some gold sellers and I need it, bro. <laughs> so I guess I'll just park anywhere here. Oh, oh. Or, you know, we're, uh, yeah, go to that street I told you. And then, yeah. and then we'll park. My nose is, yeah, it has a lot of cocaine in it, too. So if I need to start throwing some racks around, uh, you know, I can just pick some cocaine out, give it to some people. So I'm just kidding, dude, but it's fine. Alrighty, chat, I'm ready for this. This is gonna be uh, interesting. I mean, it's 6 p.m. right now, so there should be a fair amount of foot traffic. Hopefully, we'll see how the foot traffic is. 6th Street ain't gonna have nobody on it at this point, or at this time, but the other parts of the city will. Now, if we go to 6th Street, Ooh, and we shit. get a girl, and we find girls there, they, they will Dude, fuck. Like, I saw Mitch Jones stream literally, like, fuck. The dude, girls dude had a fuck. group of girls. Yeah, because they're all they're all like party girls and drunk. But <laughs> is it morally right to go up to girls that you know are drunk to try to get with them when you're sober? <laughs> Who cares, dude? Fuck it. I mean, I, you, you, you don't want to rape. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, you don't want to get fucking charged. <laughs> it ain't with. rape that she don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say that to the fucking judge, homie. Shit, he's going to agree, too. He's going to say, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I would say if we ended up doing that, then you would have to get drunk before you bring her back. Yeah, I'll get drunk. Otherwise, it's not I, consensual. I'll, I'll, warning, though, I get very political when I get drunk. <laughs> like what? I turn into destiny. You, uh, you, 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 I mean, this is Texas, so you like Trump, right? Hell yeah, Trump. Hell yeah. So they all like Trump here, so it's all good. Although, I guess the, uh, the chat will probably hate you, but that's fine. Uh, where are we going? This oh. Is, yeah, this is the other oh, way. Christ. You turn. Christ. Because this is now leaving the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to turn. Austin hates Trump. Well, most of Texas likes Trump, though. So, Austin does actually hate Trump. They're very blue over here. Or, they're very... Yeah, they're very blue over here, so... They're all, you know, a lot more liberal. Fucking gay. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> like I said, I always vote Trump for the meme, dude. Here, just make a U-turn, bro. Yeah, we'll do it. Right. All right. So as soon as we park, we're uh, gonna get this shit started. Let's see, dude, is fake fifth and third ward are different sides? I mean, I think he was joking. I don't think he's actually from. Yeah, I'm surprised. Some hey, finally, someone actually knew what I was talking about. Hey, shout out to that guy. He's probably from uh, Houston. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he knows. I'm assuming you're I'll not. I was just saying it just to test if anybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. But you're not actually from there. No, of course not. What the fuck? Is that like the straight projects? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the ghetto of the ghetto. <laughs> that's the place rappers rap about flicking, starting their career as drug users and shit. Oh, that, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whopper Planet. <laughs> what? Oh, Whopper Planet, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd say that. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. I would not compare you to Burger Planet at all. Dude, Definitely not. 
fuck, bro. It's definitely not Whopper Planet. Now they compare me to Burger Planet. God damn it. No. <laughs> fuck no, dude. I mean, uh, if I had to compare it to somebody, uh, I don't even know who it would be. No one. Because I'd be I'm, like Salman Andy. Come on, I'm not homeless, dude. <laughs> I'm not fucking homeless. No, you're not. But it's just, I don't know. It's just the, the, the attitude, though, the, the vibe that I'm receiving. I don't know, chat, what do you think? <laughs> what does he remind you of? Honestly, nobody, because let me tell you something, man. Ain't no one like this, like me. <laughs> oh. I'm a rare breed. <laughs> I'm a rare breed of incel. And this guy said you're pretty original, so that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some people are saying Greek. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to your variety. Hey, guys. We what? Have People are saying that you're Mexican taco planet. You're not Mexican, right? No. The fuck? You're white. Hey, cerote cabron. He's just from Houston. That's why you think that. I mean, people thought I was fucking Mexican when I was growing up, too. Hey, cabron. Te voy a chingar la madre, hijo de puta. All right. Let's get to this shit. Let's see here. What device are you puffing on? Uh, it's a Soren. A fucking it's, gay it's dick. Just, it's a double pot of jewel, basically. <laughs> 99% of Trump supporters are Stevie Lowell. Okay. <laughs> now I'm a Trump supporter. <laughs> I don't know why no one tells you you can't hear TTS very low up the volume. Oh, let me see. You have a Bluetooth speaker? Uh, I just let it play out the phone because it's already... Oh. I mean, it's already loud out of the phone. Like, we can hear it out of the phone, but if we have a Bluetooth speaker, then everyone around us can hear it, and I prefer not for that to be the case. Yeah. I prefer only us to hear the, the TTS. Mm. Alrighty, let's go. We'll see if that helps. Uh, I up the volume. Let's see if that helps it. All right, so I guess we'll just park anywhere then. There should be some like young girls walking around. I mean, what what is your type here? Big and chubby. Okay, so we should go with girls. Uh, you know, we should go go with girls that you think about when you say the name Latifa. <laughs> because I think I think that's the the best chance we have here. Yeah, I like I like big black women. I mean, any woman, right? But I like I mean I like black girls too. They're just like Houston is safe. Just don't go to the areas he just mentioned, or Greens Point, or Sharpstown, nor anywhere on the southeast side. That's Other right. Other than that, that's you're right. Good. Hell yeah. H Town, what up? That's a, that H Town. That's a large amount of Houston, dude. So literally one part of Houston I could go to. Now there's a lot of good places. I'm just, just you don't want to go to Third Ward. <laughs> but the thing about black girls is they're very horny. Uh, that's that's that. Hey, that's why they're hot, man. They're crazy. That the, I I do enjoy black girls, but they're they're they are very fucking horny. So they fuck just. Whoever, whatever, fucking nonstop, all over. Like, you don't even have to take some of them out. I love donkey lips on salute your shorts. <laughs> uh, donkey lips. What does that mean? What? I love donkey lips. Salute your shorts. What the fuck? I don't know what that means, but thank you, dude. That's not a race thing to say, Chad. I'm just saying. I don't even know what? what? All right, so right there, that is a large amount. That is a group of. There's like 20 girls there. One of them will say yes. One of them fuck, will say yes. We need to park, man. Where the fuck do we park? Uh, just take a, a right right here at this public parking. Dude, I, I would pull the fuck over right now. Donkey I'm lips? Who's donkey lips? Everyone's saying you are donkey lips. I'm okay, I'm donkey lip and. I don't know what that is. What the fuck? Is that like a fucking YouTuber or something? I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, video game donkey? Yo, what's up, guys? Video game donkey here. Like what? Like. Daddy, I saw you in shorts. Show us. No, I'm not. I, I'm wearing jeans today because I don't want shit to fall out of my pocket. I don't think your truck's gonna clear this, bro. Surprising. All right, good you shit. Gotta, you gotta be a pussy. Hopefully, we don't f in this fucking garage, dude. You probably know. Eh, whatever, dude. Dude, look at this. Three dollars every twenty minutes. That's not bad. Thirty min Thirty max. Oh, so Did this student went to my high school. Poke him in the stomach hard. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so you were that bully. <laughs> Yo, this is we're, this is thirty dollar parking, basically. What the fuck? Why is this so expensive? Because we're we're gonna be here every we're gonna be here long for that long, probably. So, 
Alrighty. I think we're good in this garage. So he's got a nice ass truck. He's got a Dodge Ram. This shit's nice as fuck, chat. What I'm driving? What the fuck, dude? Oh, sorry. You didn't want that? I, mean, no, I, I don't thought, care. I thought it was <laughs> obvious care. based on what we're driving in. Dude, I wanted them to, to, I wanted them to think I was driving a Ferrari. I mean, the Dodge Ram's pretty much a Ferrari, at least in Texas, dude. <laughs> this, gotta, this, this truck's like high quality in Texas, dog. Yeah, well, yeah. anywhere, but. Because you know how, you know how, like, Dodge Charger is like the scuff shit. Well, over here in Texas, we got a Dodge Ram, but it's not really scuffed. No, this car is nice as fuck. Thank you, thank you. Yo, why don't we just park anywhere? Why are we going all the way to the top? I bro? know, I know, I know. We're trying to, you trying to make us walk here. Hey, look, we got a good nice view right there. Look. Oh yeah, we can spy on all those people. Respect right there. for IRL one love. I DM said, you about yeah, the RV. You never replied. What? D oh yeah, uh, DM me again. I have a lot of DMs. I might have missed it. So DM me again, and we got this. All right, let's okay. let's do this. Let's see what we can do here, my friend. All right, our good old camera woman here. Hello. Here you are. Thank you very much. Just uh, you might want to plug the phone in here. Okay. That you? cable. Oh. Yeah. How do you start a rave in Ethiopia? Yo, you staple uh, food to the ceiling. Shout out to Sun Sound Cloud. Ethiopia. Yo, hey, thank you for the ten dollars, Bobbit. Start with I. I would not. I would not want to go to Ethiopia. Alright, where's the cable at? Right here. Are you gonna take this bag with the yeah, I am. Bro, it's humid as fuck out here. Yeah. I feel like the girls in Texas, their pussy will smell bad. Well, because it's so humid and hot and sweaty, it's like if you wear panties and pants. Does and this downsy look in though that glow IQ fool have only one shirt? <laughs> Maybe you should start paying these insult Discord team one shirt BDW. <laughs> this guy said you always wear that shirt when we see each other. Yeah, it's my favorite shirt. All right, uh, let's walk down the steps here. But no, fuck it. I, I mean, I do pay my mods five hundred dollars a fucking month, dude. And then they have to give me their social security, so here, I'm going to have to plug this in for you. Alright. H-Town repping it up. Shout out to all my H-Town people. Alright, let's do this, Stevie. Let's do it. Uns Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, yeah, I've got it. But you know what I mean, chat? Anywhere where it's humid, I feel like, like my, like my ball sack definitely does not smell good right now. So imagine a vagina where that shit goes in. Like, I don't know. I feel like it just would smell fucking steamy. That's all I'm saying. Dude, it smells like fucking straight piss in here. If it does, just let me know. I mean, a few drunk people probably come here all the time and just fucking pee in the goddamn stairwell. There we go. It is a parking garage stairwell. All right. This is F. What's How do that? you know when it's F? What do you say? How do you know when it's F? Yeah, the chat will probably say it. And it'll, this, on the screen, it'll say. It'll uh, show the chat. I'm going to remember it says. Oh. Uh, behind you, and also if it says yellow right here, it'll say like low bandwidth. All right. Okay. When they click that behind bandwidth, you. Then when you hear the noise, so you can tell me. If I don't hear the TTS. All right. Let's do this, Stevie. You ready for this, homie? Oh yeah. Let's walk over here. Definitely not. But I mean, at least I got my my trusty pair of J's on. I mean, you do look good. You look fucking amazing right now. So I yeah. think we'll have some success. I don't look that great. I make you look way so much better. To be completely honest with you. So I'm excited for this. I think it's going to go well. Now, the hard part is spotting the people that we want. Spotting the... the well, girl. we passed up a bunch of potential good shit over there. I know. Well, <laughs> Just head over there. We already missed them. Hopefully there's a bunch of those kind of girls just all over the place. Because spotting the girls are going to be... It's going to be hard. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how uh, many girls walk around the city by themselves. Not the guy. Yeah. We're in East LA. <laughs> I will say that the girls and just the people in general that walk around the city are of higher quality than the people in LA. The people in LA are just very I mean you're right. Oversaturated with 
themselves, if that makes any sense. If you ever come back to California, come down to the Bay Area. It's super popping. If you need content, hit my Twitter at this. What is that? If you ever come back to California, come down to the Bay Area. It's super popping. Okay. Alrighty, let's. So we're walking this way, and I think. Uh... This street is going to have where most of the people, like, young girls are going to be at, at least. Like I said, we're, we're, we're only barred to the outside, so it makes things a little bit harder because I know that young people don't like to just stand outside uh, unless they're a crackhead, but we'll see how it goes. Also, a lot of girls like to walk around their, with their guys or boyfriends or whatever, so obviously that can make it difficult. Give it a try here. And if all fails, then we still have crackheads that Stevie can get with, so. Hell yeah. Just kidding. Crackheads. No, no crackheads, dude. <laughs> no crackheads allowed, homie. <laughs> it feels good out here, though. Okay. Like, the weather's really nice. It's windy, it's hot, it's humid. I love it. It feels like Florida, dude. It reminds me exactly of Florida. around the city a little bit last night with Stevie so I kind of get the feel I kind of understand the feel of the city a little bit more uh, so I think I know where I'm going you get used to it all right so it is still kind of early though but it is a Saturday so we'll see excuse me excuse me hi hi hello I was going to ask him where the fuck all the people are, like where they hang out at, and if they, if he knew where the girls were. I think he was zoned out. He, but yeah, he was on a whole other level, dude. He was on fucking Mars. He smoked some DMT, dude. That nigga was sand the fuck out. Do you not get beat up in Houston when you say that? Come on, dude. I'm the one that does the beating. <laughs> I mean, I actually believe that you're a big ass dude. I don't think anyone would fuck with you, homie. No, that's fine. When I'm in my chill mode, I'm just chilling. But then when I'm in full Nick mode, that's when I go full out. Stevie was, he wanted to be my security, so he, uh, I think Stevie would, uh, hold his own, to be honest. All right, so let's cross and make a left here. So far, I haven't seen really anybody, any girls at least. That we can talk to. Them. We got it. When's the last time you went and tried to get yourself? Um, fucking ever, dude. Holy shit! What's up? When was the last time you tried? Uh, like actively went out and fucking tried. This one time I went to like a wedding, and I was trying to ask out some girl, but she she was like no. Because it, it turned out to be my cousin. <laughs> so I'm going to take never then. That's the, that's the answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Kekona. You know, people always said for me to go to Houston, but I looked it up and I just heard like very bad things about it. Dude, you see, that's what you, that's what you do wrong. You look it up. Like, you know, it's, it's not about looking it up. You just got to find for yourself. It'll be an adventure. You see new shit. Usually when I look at city up. Steve, please shut up. You're so cringe. Unwatchable. <laughs> Usually when I show the... <laughs> that's not true. He's, he's fine. Wait, wait. Wait, there's a donation? It said you're... It said, you're, it said cringe. That's all it said. Oh, whatever. Don't worry about it. Um, usually when I look at the city, they show the good parts of the city. When I looked at Houston, they only showed the bad parts. Alright, so... One street down. And then on that street is where most of the people are going to be at. I'm kind of nervous to be honest. I have not done some like wingman what to do shit in a while, so my game might be a little bit rusty here. I mean, and it's harder because I'm not spinning game for me. I'm spinning game for for him. 
So it's going to be harder for me to uh, know what to say, to be honest. But we'll see. Wait, what are you going to say? I'm going to say... How do you... What is your game? How do you spit game? I would be like... Well, I'll be like... Hi, my name is Steve. Um, I like to party. Steve. <laughs> Let's go. Steve. There's got to... There, that can't be the answer. Right here. Excuse me. Hi. How are you? Hi, doing your well. Name? My name's Abby. Nice to meet you, Abby. Hi. Are you... Do you have five minutes to talk? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm on my way to work. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. We need to find somebody who's homeless. No, I mean... So we need to find... <laughs> we, need to find we need to find someone who doesn't have a job is what I meant. Or, like, it's not working, so... That was close, though. Girls like that. Your type, yes or no? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, she was nice. I mean, would you smash them? Depends. I mean, she smokes cigarettes, so I don't know if that's a turn off. Uh, you know what they say, a girl smokes cigarettes, but that's a suck, fucking dick. I, I mean, that's, that's probably true. Some Because they'd be sucking the cigarettes all day. Yeah. Right. Although their endurance is probably really low. So they probably don't do a good job at uh, yeah. completion. No disrespect to Steve. He is a homie and a prehistoric F word. Yo, shout out to him. He is a Hell yeah. He, he is prehistoric as fuck. Hell yeah, shout out to my homies. Where are we? Okay. The thing about the city is that the, the nice areas <laughs> and like the skid row areas like mix together way too much. All right, so we are here. We are at the motherfucking spot. Oh hell yeah! So I just see a girl over there by herself, Stevie. So let's go. Uh, let's go talk to her. Okay. Oh, she's looking in the mirror, she's trying to make herself look all pretty for you. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's go check her out. Here, I got this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a car, dude. Okay. All right, you got this. All you, bro. You're watching. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? My name is Steve. How are you? You doing good? Doing fine? Good? Are you, are you, are you, are you like from one, from one to ten, you, how good are you? Pretty good? Pretty good? I don't know who that is, honestly. What he's trying to say is, we're doing a live stream and we're trying to find him a nice girl for his life. This man will never find himself a girl. He's a hack time to say it, man. Yeah, 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 I'll be honest. I was looking for a pretty girl and then I saw you. I was like, ooh, man, she fine. <laughs> it's hard to imagine that someone doesn't want it more be obese. Socially awkward. Cringe, you God. My Should friend, be pretty easy to find Steve the man. My friend, as you can see, is a little bit awkward. He doesn't really know what to say. Um, his name's Stevie. And Stevie is, uh, he's been lonely, like I said, for a very long time. He's been looking for somebody to take his place to not be lonely. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't about. know. Oh, what is it? What? <laughs> Have you been lonely, yes or no? No. What do you mean? <laughs> what, what is this? Like, I don't get it. He's a very famous live streamer. His name is Stevie G. Yeah, yeah. But look it up. It's I ice on this book beside him. So, Nicole, what are you up to? He's chilling. Okay. Waiting until it gets lit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm homeless out here this way. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, how are you homeless when you got all these buildings to yourself? Seven 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 we gotta work on you. Can you give him some advice? If you wanna get him laid, get him out of that blue moon and into fresh clothes. Also cut hair. If that fails, tell them he was a 90s Nickelodeon star. I don't need advice. Is there anything that you can say to give him some advice? I don't know why this camera is in my face. I don't know either. I don't know All right. either. Nice. Thank you for talking to us, Nicole. We'll see you later. Have a good day. All right, so consider that practice. That was uh, probably the wrong, Holy that's shit. probably the wrong person uh, to come to go up to. 
you try to get what you're looking for. Uh, but Stevie, you got what the fuck was that? You got what the fuck was that? Stevie, you can do better than that crackhead. Are you homeless with all these buildings out here? <laughs> I mean, shit, you can say you own them. That's not game. That's what? Where's the game, dude? You got here. Try this. When you walk up to a girl, be like, "Hey, how are you? What are you doing this evening?" Oh, nothing. What's up, bro? Hey. How about this? Get away from the store. Okay. How about this? Hey, you're not doing anything this evening? How about I take you out and I'll buy everything for you, but don't actually buy her shit. Just pretend you're going to do that. Yeah. And then it goes from there and then it, you know, it builds up. So we have to spot some uh, someone else here. He said it's pretty early, so it's going to be kind of, uh, kind of difficult, I think. Hey, what, what about uh, what about her? Huh? Oh, dude. Uh, I have to go for some of the older girls, Stevie. Sure, yeah. We just have to go for what we can get here. I'm not seeing too many options for you. Like I said, it might just be too early. shit out here. They said weed is illegal. I just saw that person smoking a blunt, dude. So, I'm looking at all these bars that were going by, and I see tons of girls inside of every bar. But we're not going inside of them. <laughs> so, this makes it extremely fucking hard. <laughs> Talking about hey, 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 what the hell is that now? I don't see no right I see a woman right here. There's a beautiful woman holding the camera. Uh, beautiful woman everywhere, crossing the street. It's we're awesome, man. We just... Without we guys, though. We're looking for a girl for my friend here. Oh, that's what you trying to do? Oh, I can help you get, that. We're trying to get him laid. I just want to get laid. This is a good boxy. $20 and get you laid. Oh, not, <laughs> not, not a hooker, though. Not a, or not a strip club. <laughs> Like a free girl, because we ain't got no money. Somebody like that right now, the place I would go is Chupacabra. Anywhere they got food, you're going to win right now. Outside, though. Outside walking, I would We, all, we smell too bad. We can't go inside anywhere. Uh, really, I mean, just, you got to walk and see, see what you can find. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're going to get some food. 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 Yeah, we're going to get some Okay. Nothing is impossible. Nice job. We got free air conditioning. Oh, thank you. Come try it. 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 Come Fuck, across the street I see some. I don't motherfucking know how old, never mind, I don't know how, how old they are. Let's go ask them. Fuck, dude, they like walk inside, dude. It's so hard right now. How old do you think those girls are, Stevie? I don't know. In their 20s? Just here, gotta be 20 to drink. Here, they're, gonna they're gonna cross the street, so let's just wait here. Yeah, I'll do the opening line. Yeah, they're gonna automatically be like, hell nah. <laughs> Hi. How you ladies doing? Hi, hello. Never mind. 
never mind. They're, they're, they're clearly 14. Never mind. <laughs> Clearly 14 years old. Could not see from far away. When they came up close, I'd already knew. Alrighty, Stevie. Let's think for a second. Let's go this way and take it across the street. If you're a young girl, at 6 o'clock, where the fuck do you go? Young is in motherfucking 18 or 20 or something. This is, is going to be a rough one. Playground. Check the what? The playground. The playground? No, we're not gonna check the damn playground, but that's good advice, thank you. Alright, let's go. They're all inside. We need to know more about Stevie. There is soul. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. Clearly that was her budget. God damn it. They all have boyfriends. Hello. Hi, Brianna. Paul, nice to see you. We're doing a uh, live stream. And I'm trying to uh, help my friend get a date tonight. I got it. Thank you. What went wrong? What went wrong? What went wrong? You didn't drink enough. That went wrong. Well, as long as you still got nut on your shirt. <laughs> no. So we, we can't drink. We have the liver illness. So where do we get these girls at? All right, so what you got to do is you got to go on Craigslist and then look up the little section that says something about prostitutes. And then you daddy find you a woman. What about when? It might cost like 20 bucks, but. Only $20, huh? It's not going to be worth it, but. I mean, hey, $40 for a nut, that's fine. All you can go to the strip club and pay like over $500 for a nut. Hell no, if you're paying for a pussy, my nigga, you got a problem. I'm sorry. Well, that's what I'm saying. So where would you go? Honestly, if you can't drink. It depends what you're looking for. I mean, if you can't drink anything, anything that will fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so what you do is... What? Okay, time out. Like a fat girl, a skinny girl, a smelly girl, whatever. You can't be going around with saying that anything that will fuck. You can't be saying that off red. Actually, you can because they have a lot of girls walking around and looking for niggas that just want to fuck. That's why, right? right? I'm telling you, you're gonna have to pay them some type of money. No, fuck that, no. No, in order to get, you're not gonna get no pussy tonight. No, then. I like his advice. I you want. No, you, you, you tell me. Okay, that. so like, what you looking for? Is there anything in particular? What are you looking for, Stevie? Yeah, I'm looking for like a nice, a nice girl oh, that, look, that nice has girl. A, a nice booty. First, you gotta get okay. that nut off your shirt. Shit. <laughs> okay. And second, I'm telling you, if you're not trying to spend you no money. <laughs> Yo, why, why you got a straight dog, man? Come on. Right, no, okay, so look, you, say, right? you say you're looking for a natural, right? Yeah. Okay, what in particular, like, you think that's white, like natural? Like, like this. So, is it, you're looking for a body. Yeah. Uh, if you're not like, spending no money, you're looking for, for a mentality. Like, just educated, fucking multi Probably, job, probably a girl. Probably a girl that's like, like, uh, has depression and daddy issues. Yeah, yeah that's low like self esteem. Exactly. Now I'm telling you, you have to spend money for that's, this shit. That's what he's looking for. That's I mean, that's, isn't that what everybody gets? God, like, hell no. He said he just wants some pussy tonight. He wants some pussy tonight. Yo, to we're I'm telling you, you gotta pay for it. How about we'll start with this? We're, okay. look, we're looking for the big girls, the big ones. You still have to pay for this. You no, have to buy them no, a drink. No. You have to buy them a drink. <laughs> you have to get them some food. You have to do something. You gotta pay for it. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dude, just, I guess the motherfucking... I was, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. You don't get, like, one good with that? What? With the police? With the blunt? I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know, the police will be like, hey, yeah, I'll fucking eat blunt. it. Oh, like, uh, okay, fucking eat What are you talking about? Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Alright, well let's keep moving and I'll try to find some. Where, where should we go around here at this time? Yeah, it's got three dollars. Anything else? Okay, how about this? Where do people hang out outside? We'll start with that. Uh, I might go to sidebar if we're trying to hang out outside. Don't don't bust that out. Uh, uh, where we could bust that out though. Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably like the park bro. The park if I can know. Uh, we were just at the morning. It was raining. Ain't nobody else. Go to Ravy. Ra- oh, yeah, Ravy Street. Yeah. That is a good point. That Right now, they got people, though. It's kind of early. It's kind of early. They ain't got this many people. They got this many people. All right, well, we'll give it a try. So, why, why, why don't you ask this lady her opinion? I want to hear your fucking. She, she, she doesn't want to give her opinion. No? Camera, she's scared. She's like, she's like, yo, I can't give away the secrets. So I was like, that's a good, that's law. I can't, I can't. I'm just <laughs> can't a camera. Huh? I'm just a camera. Yeah, whatever. Stevie. <laughs> bro, there's three right there, bro. Let's, let's go run up to them. <laughs> Here, we got to go, bro. Nice seeing you, dude. Don't skip on my butt. What's your oh, name? Oh, shit, my bad. What's nice your name? Nice to meet you, sir. Bleak. Bleak, nice to see you, man. Paul. Nice to meet you, man. All right. Bye. No, we can Yeah, he had a good point. If we went to Rainy Street, they, there's a lot of outside shit there. So we can try there, but it's way too early to go there. It's not going to be anybody over there. Not right now, at least. Bro, these girls are running, dude. It's like they know. People just smoke weed. Okay, let's go. Fuck. People just smoke weed all over the fucking place, dude. Even they're illegal or not. Hi, how are you? Hello. Fuck, dude. Fuck, why the fuck do they ignore us? It's like the older girls are just the ones that just don't fuck with us. Snooty is stuck towards us. He said look for Snooty, bitch. I gotta just say I got, I mean, I guess I got, hey, I got coke. Wanna come over? Like, no, that's not gonna work. That's how I get arrested, bro. And then half of the other ones are on fucking scooters. How the hell do we stop them? Where we going? <laughs> Hello. How are you? How are you guys doing? Hi. We're doing a. What's your name? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's just like LA all over again. I know, dude. I hate it. What the hell? That's fine. That's fine. Well, we'll get lucky sooner or later here. But she was a. She, she was a lesbian. I mean, you don't know that. Every girl that has short hair isn't a lesbian. And by the way, I mean, if you, you know, you can convert people, it's easy. <laughs> Look at James Charles, dude. <laughs> I mean, you, get, you put the dick inside them, they fucking convert. They just never had a dick before, that's why they... I feel like most lesbians are lesbian because they've never had a dick. Like, they just couldn't get a guy, so they just converted to liking other women. But if you give them the dick and give them, the, you know, let them try it, I feel like they would convert to the dick. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but I think that's what it is. Homie, they look too bright. Hell no, man. That one match we on, fucking up. One match on Tinder, no girls out the fucking, here. Those couple of tryhards that were talking to us, they're, they had a better game than fucking anybody else. Like, oh, I don't think we need game, though, dude. That's the thing. You just need money. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? How y'all doing? How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you are gay? No, <laughs> no, they were they were staring at us, dude. We can go inside. No, I was gonna say we go into like a subway or something, but no. Subway. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that wouldn't do shit. That wouldn't work with us. We would have we have to wait until the nighttime. If you want to be, if I'm if I'm being real with you, the nighttime is where it, it all is. Oh yeah, because then they, they can't see me. Hello. Hi. How are you? Can I ask you a question. 
We are doing a live stream, and uh, we're looking for uh, a date for my good friend here, Steve. Oh, I'm married. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for RQD2. That's freaking sick. <sighs> why are they married, though? Like, why, why, are, they, why are they married, though? Because Texas is where you come to settle down and live. I see one 12 o'clock on a scooter. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? What happened to your nose? I'm just coming off the SS. Oh, okay. Yeah. I you like off the scooter or something. No, no, no. You're busting yourself. No. Are you guys doing an interview or something? Yeah. Or like a... Hi, what's your name? Maria. Maria, nice to see you. Paul. Nice to meet you. So, Maria, what are you doing out here? Let me just have my nose so I don't look crazy. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Um, Give a little bit of that. Well, that's fine. You just got it pierced. So I know. It looks uh, good, though. Thank you, thank you. Um, what was your question? What are you doing out here this evening? Um, well, I'm coming from New York, actually. I'm just visiting a friend, but they're working, so I'm just taking a walk. Just like tourist Drawing, shit. Drawing, yeah, yeah. Drawing. Well. Steve, you dumb as you smoked weed. Okay. Enjoy dragging. We are actually uh, natives of Austin. Okay. So we know all about the city. And not only are we natives, but you know, we're doing the live stream, we're doing like, we're not really interviews, but we're trying to, uh, we're live streaming because we're documenting, trying to find, uh, what people think about it. No, we're trying to find a date for my good friend Steve here. Oh, okay, okay. And the thing is, it's a very interesting experience because Steve just got out of the hospital. Um, I'm he, sorry about that. He had a broken limb, but it's, he's all fixed up now, but he was in the hospital for six months in the coma for two weeks. Wow. So. What happened? Well, that's why we're documenting. How did that happen? It was like six months ago. He's in the hospital for six months. Oh, okay. And he just got out like a week ago. And that's why we're documenting this. We're documenting how you can go from being in a coma to going on a date with a girl and then obviously yeah, hanging yeah, out with yeah. them and showing a good time. And it gives motivation for the rest of the world to watch this live stream. Yeah. So I don't know what you're doing tonight, but if you're interested in hanging out with a group of guys like us, that would be amazing. Okay, so so I'm sorry about that, yes. <laughs> back, he's like, back he's home that's, though. That's a real man. He's like, I don't want to grow with a boyfriend. But he's at home though. That's yeah, across but, the country. But, no, no, no. What, like, what about your friend though? My, my little Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. So we don't have any set plans. Where are you guys going to be? I mean, we're going to be right here. We're okay. going to be in this right, spot. We'll probably end up around here. Well, how about this? Why don't you take Steve's number, okay. and then you guys can text if you want to, uh, you know, hang out. Is your friend single? My friend, yes. Well, perfect then. Okay. And she, you said she's working. I can't promise anything. Yeah, I can't promise anything. Well, you don't need a I'll, promise. That's fine. I'll hit you guys up. No commitment whatsoever. Hopefully, I'll stop leaving by then. So you came here to visit your friends? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I know I uh, I travel a lot too. I like to visit people all over the place. It's really fun. Have you ever been to Austin before? I came once, but I, w I wasn't here for that long, so I didn't really get to see much. But uh, but actually, I'm from New York, but I just came from El Paso. Okay. I have another friend there. So. so are you used to this kind of weather then, if you're from New York? Yeah, it's like, yeah, but it's, it's pretty cold in New York right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, is it, it's not really humid over there, is it? No, it's not that humid. This is like disgusting right now, but I, I'm enjoying the warmth. So it's not, it's not a big deal. Well, All right, I'll it. well, good luck with your nose. All Hit right. us up if you want, and uh, we'll be around. All right, awesome. Bye. Why does everyone have a goddamn fucking boyfriend? <laughs> I had a real dude. I think it's annoying. Why? Just break up with your boyfriend, dude. At least break up with your boyfriend for like fucking 10 minutes, dude, so you can come hang out with us and then get back together with him later. Look at you. Because let's be real. I mean, we want the we want the the sex to happen, but there's no sex to be happening. Let's. It's I'm, never I'm, gonna I'm, happen. I'm dude. being realistic here. So. Look at me, dude. <laughs> so it's very. Uh, this, this is this is hard. guys doing out here? Uh, so what I do actually is I'll take Yeah, I play the drums. That's what I do. See, see what it says? 
Can we hear a little bit? As long as you tip them, be sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, how much? Whatever you feel. All right. right. As long as it's something, I do this because people appreciate music. So. Oh, no, of course. Let's see. Uh, here is a couple dollars. I'll put this in the jar here. Thank you. Let's see what you got. This is how we're the girls. What I do is I play the song. I find the song. Let's play the song. How long, how long have you been playing drums for? Since I was eight. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a few shows. Yeah, that's What about some acapella? I play with the song. Okay. <laughs> right there was another weapon to play. Hey, you leaving? This is tough. While we're waiting, you can read some of the donuts. Oh, yeah, the donations. Steve, you dummy, you smoked weed, enjoy a little. Okay. Is it true any black girl be down to bother KFC? No. We need to know more about Stevie Barrett's soul. You'll know all about him. Steve can do better than that crackhead. Of course he can. If you want to get him laid, get him out of that moo moo and some fresh clothes. Also cut hair. <laughs> he looks like a 90s Nickelodeon star. <laughs> no, dude. It's hard to imagine someone doesn't want morbidly obese. <laughs> Cringe God. Holy shit, that was good as fuck. That was really, really good. So, what how, how did you mind? play that song? Huh? How did you learn to play that song? I just learned it. You just know That's all the songs. the first time I heard it. You just know all the songs. I, I know how to play the drums, so if you know how to play your instrument, you you hear something, I can kind of tell it's in 4-4 time, I can add blip. So once I hear like like the groove of it, I can, I can just go with it. What if it was like EDM, like dubstep? Boom, 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 boom. Wow, it's whatever dude. I hear. You are a you are a god. Holy shit. Well, I don't know about that. No, you that that was real that was fucking amazing. Well we'll probably be here for a little bit, so we'll see you uh, again. Are you from here? Yeah, I, we live here. Oh. So I'll definitely be seeing you around, man. That's Alright, we'll see you later. Have a good one. <laughs> Stevie. Hi. Hey ladies, how are you? Hi, Paul, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yes. Hi, we're doing a, uh, a live stream here. Metallica. Metallica, nice to see you. We're doing a live stream here. We're trying to uh, find some nice little things to the Okay. Are you guys married by chance? I am. Nobody else is. We're five of us. Are you married by chance? No, I'm not. Are you single? Yes, I am. That was a beautiful girl like yourself, so single. Nice city, Boston. We just love Sixth Street. It's fun. Oh, you live here? Always oh, fun to hang out at. Yeah. So you guys live here, then? No, we live in Dallas. Oh, wow. So yeah. you go all the way from but Dallas. But we, we come a couple of times a year. We go to the lake and... Hang out, drink, and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. 
really nice. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Eden. Eden, that's right. You like the garden? No, Edith! Oh, Edith, sorry. <laughs> like the Garden of Edith in the, in the Bible. That's the place Edith. of beauty and life. That's what it is. Yeah. But so, yeah. Edith, I don't know what you're. So, what are y'all doing tonight? Well, so, what's the whole so, objective I don't, I, of what you guys are doing? What I, are you guys are trying to accomplish here? I don't know what you're. We're, looking, we're looking for pretty nice women. Pretty looking women. Okay. And we saw you, we were like, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the objective here is my friend here, uh, you know, we're looking yeah, for. Her name is Stevie. His name is Stevie. We're looking for a. Uh, 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 Oh, hola. ¿Dónde estoy? ¿De qué parte de México? ¿Dónde es de México? Sí, Juárez. Juárez. Yo soy de Jalisco. Jalisco, México. Ladies, home was retarded as our cancer. Sleeping by. Digo, digo. Yo soy de Houston, pero vengo a Austin. Okay. Sí, venimos acá. We lived in Houston before. In Galena Park. Ah, okay. Four years. Hola, español. I don't speak Spanish. No. Unfortunately. No, you're, you're uh, the fact that you, I'm a gringo, but the fact that you speak Spanish is amazing. So, I don't know what you ladies are doing for that, but if you're down to hang out with us. Yeah, we're, we're going to go check out a couple places, but you guys... We're waiting for the rest of our you, crew. Yeah. They're over there. They're coming. See, we may run into you again. We may run into you again. So, so why you, wait, why you wait guys... Nos invitamos unas birongas. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Ah, okay. And, look. Julia, Julia! They, they want to hang out of me, people! Hello! 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 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I like her. She's yeah. going to be nice and Tell me about yourself. You are great. Oh, my name is Julianne Hernandez. I'm 37 years old. Oh, shit. Most people think I'm her girlfriend or her son. And, what? uh. Why do they think that? Because that's my best friend. Okay. And they're all my best friends. Oh, Why nice. are you the only one who's so hyped here? Crazy. I like that. We all love that. We love that shit. So, so do I. Let's actually, go party. We're, we, we are doing a live stream. Where are we I'm, going? And I'm trying to hook my friend Stevie up here with some good Stevie! No, 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 no one's under, no. No, 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 I don't know how to put this. We are famous. And if we go inside the store, the store will probably kick us out for getting too much attention. I like that shit. I'm serious. So, so what? So, Brings business. I don't know where we can go except for my house. No. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you, though. But hell yeah. And you know what? We're here to explore. Yeah. But the house sounds great, and I'm, I'm sure it's a great house. It's close by. Why but, not? But you know what? We're just going to explore. Yeah. Why then? Because we do what we want. Right. Well, I guess we'll see you ladies later yeah. then. Goodbye. Have a nice day, ladies. We love you. We love you. Yeah. What's up, man? I just watched the shoes. I just want to say, like, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, you're a fan. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I love that dude. I just wanted to like say uh, What's your name? Uh, my name is Stevon. Hey, I'm nice, Steven. Nice to meet you, I'm Stevon. from Portis, but we're just here to visit for a little bit. Isis is kind of weird. I don't like Burgess, Sandy. Yeah, I'm going to say hi. Thank nice, you so much. Nice to see you, man. Hello. All right, so we've just we've come to a crossroads. I just realized something. Steven needs to dress better to get laid. When we get a, when we get a group of people to say yes to hanging out with us, I just realized that we can't actually go into any of the buildings to hang out with them. Yeah, that sucks. That's rough. We just got rejected by like some Mexican middle-aged women. No, they didn't They didn't reject us. They just don't want to come to the house because it's creepy. Oh, well, fuck. 
Fuck, that, dude. No, that's that's rough. Hold on, let me see the phone. I need some suggestions, chat. That's fucking rough. I think if we do go into any of the bars, we would have to wait until tonight when the bar has literally hundreds of people inside of it because then, you know, they can't really spot us. And also, their phones are off because who the fuck calls the bar when they're busy? You know what I mean? So, that's, uh, that's rough. Take them to a food stand, but that's... <laughs> that's not where they Great, wanted to go. I was hungry. That's not where they wanted to go. Let me see. Steven needs to dress better to get laid. No, he would Bro, if he would have got that fucking Julia girl, you know, drunk, you would have you been laid 100%. Ice, this is kind of weird. I don't like burgers. I don't like Burgress Andy. What does what? that mean? Burgess Andy? Burgess. Yo, E, this is my mom. Please come home. I'm hungry. Okay. Let me see these homeless retards of cancer. Okay, thank you. Uh, Steve, you're dumb. You smoked weed. Okay, thank you, dude. What? Go at night. Yes. We could go at night. Oh, what, yeah, the bars. Oh, but what the oh, fuck yeah, do we mind. do until then? Because I don't feel comfortable going in anywhere. That's tough, dude. That's actually so tough. Rejected by Pat. They didn't reject us, dude. <laughs> they, like, why would they just... We why, definitely got rejected. Why, no, they... Why would they come to my house? They didn't reject us. It's not our fault, dude. They just, you know, they, they were totally... Or maybe they just wanted us to buy their fucking drinks for them. Who knows? I mean, that's the only way they'll probably agree to be with us anyway. Be sure you want to take them to your house and stream it. Don't leak your shit, homie. Well, I would not stream driving to the house just when we already get there so yeah, at least that one guy's looking out for you man food stand or impromptu park dates are good ideas um yeah but those ladies did not want to go with us they were in a group and they wanted to do some stuff we have to find like a single girl or like two girls by themselves that would want to go on like a park date go to like a bar something. and arrange it with them first and say you're famous and they'll get calls and get a yes from them prior go right now go to a bar and arrange it with them first and say you're famous and they'll uh, I've tried that before. They, it, it's harder than you think because they don't. They're just like, oh, we're gonna get calls. Let's not deal with that. Um, we need to find a girl who's just like, do, who's doing nothing right now. Who's just. If I donated one hundred, would you follow me on Twitter? Uh, I would not. But thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I'm sorry. I would have to follow. I'd follow a lot of people then. Um, here, take this. He should have hooked up with Tina from Bob's Burgers. Ha ha. The energetic one. We tried, we tried, dude. It's hard. Here, let's try to find a girl that will impromptu with us. Uh, impromptu park day with us. Um, the university, there's nobody at the university right now. It's not gonna. Like, you think there's. Chad, do you think people will be at the university right now at 7 o'clock on a Saturday? I don't think so. Because there's no school today, so. Yeah. Like this area is definitely the place to go. Like they have the, that one street by the school, but they didn't have too many people when we were there last time. Not, not it's more creepy to find lone girls where you think this. Let me see. Sorry. Go to a strip club. We can't stream that. It's more creepy to find lone girls where you think this. Go to a strip club. Well, yeah, but we're not, we're not we're not actually gonna get lone girls, honey. All right, you know what? Let's give that a try. Here, let's do this. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the Guadalupe. It's near the school, and there might be some people like on the campus walking around. So maybe, I don't know if they're gonna be busy for like school or what, but let's go there. So let's grab your car, and then Guadalupe is like five minutes down the road. Okay. Well, we gotta go to, where was the parking at? Fifth Street? It was on Brazos. I don't remember where that is. Was it? Yeah. Okay, let's walk this way because then this is a new street. We see people. It's not funny to spam stuff. 
Mike, it's just a waste. Of Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Hi, ladies. How are you? Can you talk to you for like five minutes? I wish I had reservations at a restaurant. Unfortunately, I'm a homeless person. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you have so, a lot of experience, sir. So we're trying to get my friend Stevie here, late. And we don't know where to do that around here. This hotel is $1,000 a night cost to work in the district. Go to where? The Driscoll Hotel in the car. The hotel? $1,000 Yeah, but... The legislature's is $1,000 a night. Yeah, but we don't want to spend $1,000 yeah. to get sex. Online, there are all sorts of websites for Chicano, prostitutes, underage girls, and they all have the same thing. Take them to a bar, get kicked, get no, kicked out, explain no. that thousands of people are watching. Let's just back no, to my place and have drinks. Black prostitutes. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no underage, no transvestite, no. You want a skinny girl, a uh, Swedish girl. Swedish girl, yeah. Alright, well, walk down this street. Where's that spot? There's a spot, it's a spot or something. We, it, it ain't a spot. We don't want a prostitute. It's a whorehouse. Oh, the, the, the spa, but it's a whore. okay. Well, we don't want to go to a spa. And fuck uh, and prostitutes. Sleep in the alley with them? Uh, no, we want to find girls that we don't have to pay money for. Forty Club between here and the interstate on that street right there, Sixth Street. It's a little. I mean, they're all inside the buildings, though. We can't enter the buildings because we have a rare uh, condition that is, makes us allergic to air conditioning. And you got AIDS? I have air conditioning yes, ventitis. Uh, I wouldn't tell Boston. Look at your dicks and you got gonorrhea. I mean, there's no, I mean, no gonorrhea here, but. How about herpes? Uh, you have herpes? No, you. Oh, no, I don't have, no, I don't have herpes, no, I mean. PVZ, KBS, CH, KPVZ, KPVBS, CH, KZ, KPVI, Love Sluts, BS, CH, KZ, KBS, CH. Johnny Garson? Discover a guy named Stephen WRIZ, John WRIZ, from Harvard. I'm not trying to remind you. Look on the internet, Stephen writes the funniest comments I've ever seen on TV. Next to Jim Conway. All right. Well, we were gonna head over to the the university. Maybe that is where we should go. Sorority girls over there are trying to for a thousand dollars a night. Sorority girls that want to have sex for a thousand dollars a night. Yeah, I fucked them. You fucked? Wait, what? How did you spend a thousand dollars to fuck some of them? I just know they want to. You just what? You know what a uh, Russian dust is? What? It's Afghani gold ground in the snuff and uh, a pack of that much on the west side of campus now runs two hundred dollars. It's pure heroin ground in the snuff. Oh, so you were giving the girls at the university you know, I scored, heroin? I scored, well, I scored, I scored it for them. Pass them. Pass them. I mean, whatever works, I guess. But unfortunately, we don't have heroin to give to these girls. So we have to do it the old-fashioned way with McDonald's and Denny's. You going to use your debit card? I mean, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll just give them fucking counterfeit money. Thank you for the advice, my friend. We must be going, though. We will see you later. Thank you. Astros, baby. The Astros. Hell yeah. Hell, Astros. Hell, Astros. Hell, Astros. Series, Verlander's going to get the MVP. He's going to... It's a one Where's the sluts? I need sluts now. Give me the sluts. I'm horny. I need to clap cheeks now. I have a disease where if I don't clap cheeks every 20 minutes, I die. Where's the sluts, motherfucker? I told you. I told you when they made the deal for Berlander. He said this is a change. He has to. All right, we, we, we have to go though. Thank you very much, dude. I'll see you later. You want to talk to Texas Monday people? Their offices are right there at Texas Monday. Oh, that's where my streaming office can be. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, he just started. He started a ramble in there for a second. All right, let's go. He said he gave up. Girls at the university, heroin to have sex with them. Okay. Well, we don't have heroin, so hopefully it still works. But we'll see. Well, I should have brought some of my heroin with me. Unfortunately, 
don't have any. So he did the thing with the heroin. The other guy suggested to say we have coke. Is everyone in Austin just a fucking drug addict? Yeah. Like, do they, are, are all the girls just pretty, looking pretty for drugs? Much, and much, it's like, oh, you have drugs? Yeah, I'll fucking blow you. Like, is that what is the vibe here? Because so far, that's what it seems. And I don't like that because I pride myself on not doing drugs. I mean, it, it's true. I just smoke weed. Although I haven't smoked in a while since I've been here, so. Yo, where the fuck? Listen to the old man. Just get him a damn hooker already. BBW, by the way. Uh, we're trying not to go to hook around, homie. Listen to the old man. Where are the sluts? Any sluts? Give me sluts. I'm horny. Uh, I don't know, dude, but we're trying. Let me see. Fucking take him to the bar, get kicked out, explain that people are watching and just come back to my place and have drinks. That's not how it's gonna go, though. I've done hey, man with the blue t-shirt in the back. You're sexy. Come back to my place now. Oh, over there. Thank you. Over there, over there. I, I will I will say this. If we get kicked out of a bar with girls, they're gonna be like, what the fuck's going on? Like, it's just, like, no. I don't wanna go into a bar purposely get kicked out. And then, because the girls aren't gonna come with us, and even if they do, I'm, like, causing a problem for the bar, and I don't want that. So, uh, <laughs> Oh man, it's fine. We'll just go to the university. At least at the university, maybe they'll understand a little bit more because they're younger. You know, if we say like, oh, we can't go into a fucking restaurant because of the stream, maybe they'll understand that we can bring them to a park, bring them to my house, you know, the dumpster, like anything really. Hello there. How are you? Okay. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. So, chat, like I was saying, imagine I had an office space, like, on this street, and, like, let's say this is my office space, and then I stream, like, right here, and then I can just walk in and out of that, like, fucking glass fucking window, and then, you know, I, and people can come in, and, like, I can go out and stuff, like, that would be sick, and that's sort of what I'm aiming for, I want an office space, I want to rent an office space, literally on the side of, like, a busy-ass street, uh, so... You know, I can bring people in and out, I can go in and out, things like that. It'll make it, and I don't have to worry about getting, like, kicked out of fucking places and all this other shit. If I'm, like, talking to some girl, and I'm like, oh yeah, let's go to my fucking, uh, my office space that's, like, two minutes away, I think they would come. And I have, like, a full bar in there and all this other bullshit. So, that's why, you know, a couple days ago when I talked about getting office space, that's why I would want to do it. It makes it very convenient. Because then I don't have to bring people to my apartment get fucking kicked out and evicted, and then it's a goddamn cycle. Hello there. Hello. Alright, so we're locked out of the parking uh, complex, are we? Alright, so let's go the other way. Hello. Just buy a pub or a restaurant? You can't just buy a restaurant. Yo, how do we get into the fucking parking garage, dude? Do we just have to walk up yeah. the goddamn ramp? I was trying to open that fucking door. No elevator? It's in that fucking door. <laughs> Why do they lock the door? They're fucking dumb. Oh my god, okay. Who's the girl? Uh, she's just a friend of ours. She just came to hold the camera, that's all. Alrighty. I look healthy? Well, thank you. I've been working on my health besides this fucking vape, of course. Oh god. Oh jeez. Sorry. So it's $30 parking, homie. Trust me. Alright, yo, fuck. All right, just, just break it, you know. Don't break it. Alright. Not friend, chat. Like, friend. I'm sure people already know. They already know. You're famous. She's the famous beauty makeup YouTuber. If you don't know her, then I'm sorry, but you've been missing out. <laughs> Definitely not my miss, my mistress. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna bring my mistress onto stream with me when my girlfriend's watching, of course. Listen, dude, I ain't pro Jared, dog. Right. Okay. What floor are we on? Five. Third. Third floor. Okay. All right, let's go to Guadalupe. Very far, homie. All right, oh, chat. Jesus Christ. 
University girls, got to work, yes or no? I feel like university girls have no jobs, nothing to do for the rest of the day. It's like, oh yeah, I just got out of class, or, well, there's no class today. Oh yeah, I'm just walking around doing nothing. Yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah, let's give that a try. How are you feeling? Very exhausted because... Exhausted? We walked like two blocks. <sighs> I'm, over, I'm overweight. You need warehouse space and office. Um, warehouse space could work, but I prefer some like Adam 22 shit where it's like office space side of a busy road. That would work really well. Just type in Guadalupe here, I'll only type it in. Go buy some clothes for Steve. Get him a haircut. Get him some high beast clothing. Easy solution. Get him laid. He got his potential homie, but you need to change his outfit. Hess looking mad sus. <laughs> how is he looking sus? <laughs> There's how what makes him sus? Like what the I don't fuck? Know. <laughs> Bro, okay, I cannot. I cannot, we can, we're not gonna go buy him height beast clothing. First of all, I won't be able to, I won't be able to fit it. That's one thing. Second, second of, of all, it's gonna be too expensive. Yeah, second of all, <laughs> I'm not buying him fucking Supreme and shit. That's hella expensive. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna look like Sam Pepper. <laughs> and you don't need a haircut, you have a haircut. I know. So. It, it's cause this fucking top of my head is fucking annoying, I don't know why. It's curly haired you like you, you know, I'm curly haired too. Uh, well, I mean. I think my hair is nice. I don't know. If yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, apparently yeah. I have a receding hairline, which I disagree with. <laughs> but go to the nearest Goodwill. <laughs> Hell yeah, there's probably content there. A bunch of homeless. No, for your clothing is what he meant. Oh, fucking goddamn it! You got me. I don't think there is there really like anything worth wearing at Goodwill. No, nah, not really. Because I know they have clothing there, but it's like, like is that clothing that you want to wear? Hell no. Nah. Because every time I've been to a Goodwill, the, it's always, like, the, everything's always dirty. Like, the clothes are always fucking dirty with, like, dirt and shit on it. And they're just, like, worn out fucking, like, nut shirts, tell me. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks a lot, dude. Thanks for making fun of my nutted shirt. <laughs> no, I didn't even. I <laughs> forgot about that. That was hilarious. You literally thought I, like, I have nut on my shirt? What the fuck? Actually. Yeah, but I like those guys. They're actually kind of funny. They're if funny. we do go to Goodwill, we could find you a nice button-up. Oh yeah, true, I could look and like then, you, wear a tie and a shirt and go like, hey, what's their news? And it's like two dollars. <laughs> but honestly, I don't want to, uh, actually, if we could keep the stream in the car and then I'll run in and get the fucking shirt real quick, then, you know, we can run out. Was he born in that jersey? Was he born in that jersey? <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time, I think every time you've been on stream, you've worn that jersey. Can you crank yeah. up Coldplay for all of us lonely nubs in Discord? Uh... Coldplay, crank up the Coldplay, yeah, sure. How do you sleep at night knowing you did not pay any of your janitors on Discord and they work for free? All right, there you go. Um, fucking. Dress up as a nerd with thick rimmed glasses like you did for Singles Meetup, Microsoft PTW. Yeah, but it's not for me, it's for him. Uh, I pay my Discord. How do I tell if a coworker likes me or is just being friendly? You have to just say, hey, do you want to hang out? And if she says yes, she likes you. If she says no, then she doesn't like you. Uh, and then when you hang out with her, fucking try to go over, like, and just touch her. Like, I don't know, like, grab like grab her, but, like, you Hey, know, I saw a promoter at the key bar on 6th ST, and I asked the general manager if it's cool if you come despite the calls, and she agreed. Go over there, you got the pass. Well, you're going to have to show me more proof than that, because you could just be baiting me. I would say DM me on Instagram or Twitter, show me proof, and then I'll go over there. Otherwise, it, it, it's, it could be bait. Um, Give I, him a makeover proof. Get him a new outfit. Bitches love a man with style. That jersey isn't doing it proof, and I bet you 100% his chances will increase. Get him a nice outfit, and he will get laid. All right, let's stop at the nearest Goodwill. On the way to Guadalupe, we should go to a Goodwill. Dude, I don't even know where the fuck there's a Goodwill. It's gonna be like far away. No, it's close by. Oh, okay. oh. I went to it the other day to uh, pick up some heels. Cause I have a stream plan. What? I have a stream plan with heels. This is my first time seeing Steve. Much love to all y'all, but Ice. The more he wears that, the more he gonna turn into DJ Lol. Wearing <laughs> a jersey all the time, ha ha. I'm not a DJ. 
DJ. What the hell? I'm uh, not on drugs. Like I was saying to the other guy, I do pay my Discord moderators. Yeah, he pays me like five hundred dollars a month. That's how I. But that's the money I used to buy this truck, guys. Real story, purple real. The only person I don't pay in Discord is Coggins. How do I tell if a stripper likes me? Because Coggins is a motherfucker. He's, um, a, he's a little. Coggins, old bitch. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, dude, you I'm just guy. kidding. He's a big fan. Um, how do I tell if a stripper likes me? You don't. They just like your money. All right, so. Let me see here. Also, let me see where the nearest Goodwill is. Go uh, put the thing, just like, press exit on that, and then just. All right, there is a Goodwill, 0.9 miles away. Yeah, it's very close by. There you go. So we'll go there. Set the ping, homie. And then I'll just run in, grab you a shirt, and then run out. And then we're gonna get on that battle bus and jump off and get ready to get some fucking wins today, boys. So, so chat, what do you think? Button up or what? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, fashionable stuff to have a Goodwill. Put your suit on, motherfucker. I don't think Goodwill has many fashionable things, so I think the most fashionable thing they have at Goodwill is a button up. So what do y'all think about that? <laughs> what, is your, what is your shirt size? It's way too many X's and L's. Oh, I need to know so I know what to get. Extra, 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 extra large. Give him an ecstasy pill and get him drunk. He will loosen up. Just look at Danny Mullins' videos. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, they have a point. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right, but god damn, I gotta pop a molly to fucking go. I mean, you don't have to pop a molly, but you, <laughs> if you get fucking wasted, it will help. Dude, when I'm drunk, I don't give a fuck. If the girl has a boyfriend, I still be like, yo, what's up? And then, you know, the guy tries to fight me and I run away, but... Alright, well, I'll get, uh, I guess, I'll get like a 2X. Or like a, an, an extra large. And we can start looking for drug dealers. Fuck it, dude. I mean, candy sellers, candy sellers, candy sellers. And then, yeah, so button up and then no tie. The tie is gonna look fucking... Your RuneScape clan chat is dead. Why is it dead? I like to spam in word with a my friends, but now no one is there anymore. Uh, Bag of Ice K is my new clan chat, that's why. But don't, don't spam the N word. Hey, donkey Lips needs a New Jersey. Camp Hanawana. What is Donkey Lips? What the fuck is that? I still don't know what that is. Okay, dude, and now I'm seeing a whole bunch of hot chicks right as we leave. I don't, what are you talking, I don't see any. Yeah, you're looking at the wrong area, dude. What, so I'm gonna see homeless people <laughs> and guys smoking weed. I don't see any hot chicks anywhere. You're missing them. You're blind, homie. I see the chugging monkey. I see the lit, <laughs> the lit lounge. <laughs> Fucking voodoo donut. No girls. Did I get my modafinil strip script yet? Stop no. by a liquor store and get a bottle of Jack and get Steve to chug it. Do it for content Kona. Dude, how did you know I like whiskey? What? They're psychic, so... Damn, don't. Chad, you guys are fucking... Wait, I don't think you should chug a bottle of whiskey. Hell yeah, I would. Hell yeah, for the content, dude. I'll do, I'll do some fucking... So uh, if I buy you a, th a little tiny thing of whiskey, you would chug it? Dude, you saw me chug a fucking, you know, the other day. All right, well, on the way to Goodwill, we'll stop at a gas station or a liquor store or whatever, and we'll get you a little thing of whiskey, and then we can... <laughs> yeah, I'll be like a K-Kona Harvey J. I'll be drinking whiskey and be like, yee yee! But then, uh, yee yee. she has to drive then. Or I can drive. She'll Fuck you, you ain't driving my goddamn truck. All right, she'll... First of all, you ain't got the balls to drive this. So she can And just... second of all, dude, you driving like a motherfucking dude. So would she drive then? She could drive. You trust her more than me? <laughs> yes. Women drivers? Whoa, whoa, what do you mean, <laughs> women drivers? I'm just saying. What do you mean? I'm just saying, I don't know, I'm just saying, dude. Like, <laughs> squad W, Squad W. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yo, fucking squad, these nuts on me. Listen, fucking, I'm just kidding. Women are good drivers. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Listen, I've seen my girlfriend drive. She's not the best, but dude, I don't tell her that. I, I don't tell her that. She's though. watching the stream, dude. Don't tell, no, she's not. <laughs> But nobody should tell her that, okay? Okay, sure. But, I mean, I'm not a good driver either, but I at least I can admit it. Just throwing it out there. But, uh, alright, I guess we'll stop at a liquor store then. I mean, whatever you want to do. Man, look at that girl! <laughs> 
Just don't get too, uh, don't, don't get too, don't lose control, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to see you groping people. Dude, I'm not a blade, dude. I'm not blade. I'm not DJ. I'm not Greek. I'm not fucking whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't, planet, I don't, I don't everybody. What the fuck? Seriously? I don't think Greek has ever groped a woman. No, this is just based on what everybody's calling me because they don't know who to fucking compare me to. <laughs> I said Salmon Andy, and I'm sticking what? to that. What? What? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sticking that to that. That motherfucker smells like old bus seats. <laughs> I mean, he does smell like a greyhound, but listen, homie. It's it's just the attitude. Oh. It's not the smell. Am I am I being a fucking yo, but what's up, man? I want to smell you, my biggest big nose. You... No, no, you're not. What? But I'm just saying, you're, that's <laughs> the closest thing it reminds me of. You're like the better version of a Salmon Andy. Oh, better. Okay. I guess I will. I'll, like you're I'll, not. You're I'll not... give you a thought. I'll toss you a ball there, bro. I mean, you're not Salmon Andy. You're obviously likable, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know who else to compare you to. Maybe Gengar. He's gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. Okay. Gengar's a good guy. Gengar, I fucking love you, bro. You're cool, dude. Gengar is fucking gay, dude, honestly. Thoughts on NoFap for 90 days? I'm doing NoFap and sometimes I feel like Ted Bundy. Help. Uh, don't do NoFap. Why the fuck would you do NoFap? What's the point of that? Like, motherfucker, jack off. It's fine. <laughs> There's no, like, it, I guess NoFap's supposed to be, like, healthy for you and do all these things for you, but it doesn't. Like, it's a lie. No fat doesn't actually do anything for you. It's it's placebo. I mean, I, it just I, makes your next jack off session actually meaningful. It, that and yeah, it's just a bunch of bro science. Like if you want your ejaculations to feel better, then sure, do no fat. But if you're looking for any other hi, hi. Thing, well, tell hi. your Asian friend if she remembers us. P.S. You need another stream with Bjorn. Pog. Have well, a good day. Apparently Bjorn's coming next month, so we'll see. Yeah, 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 some Lady Bjorn bar hopping content. And she remembers you? Uh, let me see, what is this Imgur? I can't click on it because of this app. It's not working. You don't click on anything. Either. I'm sorry, Steve. I cannot click your link, but thank you very much for the donation. Do you know a Steve besides him? Um, I think so, like on 6th Street. Like, you know, last If that's what you're talking about, then she, yeah, she remembers you. Alright, so here's the Goodwill. This shit looks fucking close. Yo, this shit is not... What the fuck? It said it was open. Nah, I think it is open. It's just that there's no one here because who the fuck goes to Goodwill? Where's the entrance? And then there's a 7-Eleven across the street. I think they have liquor there, right? Yeah. Or maybe... I don't know if they have liquor. Do they have liquors? No, they don't. They only have beer. That's right. But we're in Texas. In Texas, do they sell liquor at gas stations? All right, let's see if this place is open. If it's not, then fuck the, the button up, because the next, the nearest Goodwill besides this one is not in the city. It's fucking far, far as fuck away. Ah, uh, they just closed, 7 p.m. Shit. All right, we don't need to get you a button up then. It's fine. Fuck it. Where, where's the liquor store? The 7-Eleven? They do not have liquor there. But you want whiskey. Doesn't matter what the fuck I drink. Well, Guadalupe has a liquor store, so let's just go there. And uh, we'll pass one. And then we'll run, a, we'll run in there real quick, get the fucking whiskey, and I'll help you uh, loosen up. I used to watch so much porn that I no longer get off the IRL tits and ass. I lived in strip clubs for a long time. I don't feel anything. I have really bad dead. Can barely feel my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, I have erectile dysfunction as well. Um, <laughs> I, it's hard for me to get off to real ass and real titties and real shit anymore. You're actually gay. Uh, no, I'm not. I just, I don't know, dude. It's just, I, I've had sex before, so it just doesn't get me off anymore. Like, I have to, like, really work myself up, and I don't know why. I don't know if that's erectile dysfunction or just, like, I'm getting too used to it, but I don't know. Chad, do you ever feel that way where it's like you have sex? a bunch and then you just don't get off it with sex anymore 
Like, there are times where... Round Rock downtown get pretty lit, also you should check it out, it's in North Austin. There are times where I would rather m masturbate than have sex. I don't know if that's a normal thing. Round Rock downtown, get pretty lit, also you check out in North Austin. Uh, well, I don't know what that is, we we'll have to save it for another time, but we'll see. We're not written at 7 Eleven is always across the street from Goodwill. Why do you think that is? I don't know. They must go hand in hand. Go to the Goodwill, get a bunch of clothes, go to the 7 Eleven, drink your life away. I suppose. Not normal. I don't. I don't know, Chad. I guess I'm just fucking gay then. Who knows? Don't let us down, Steve. You chug the bottle of whiskey and show us how Texans drink liquor, homie Kona, all the way. Hell yeah, brother. Gonna show you how we do it up in Texas. We straight chugging whiskey. Um, Steve, how much do you masturbate? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know, like, like, um, four, five, fifteen times a day. What? What the fuck, dude? Alright, um, that's... Man, I beat the fuck out of my shit every day. I mean, I'll do it like, like once a week. But... Once a week, bro? What the fuck? Even when I was single, like once a week. Once every other day, maybe? Yeah, dude. I don't know. Like, Is that because you want a dude to go come jerk you off instead? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> I just don't feel horny anymore, ever. I don't know. I guess it's my... I guess I, I could have low testosterone. Alright, we're nine minutes away, chat, so <laughs> when we get here, hopefully there's some people, otherwise, fucking, fucking rip, dude. We'd have to wait until nighttime for uh, 6th Street to get, you know, feeling something, or for 6th Street to start doing something, dude. Ice, please tell the fat head pecking sloth to give it a rest for five minutes. He needs to shut up. P.S. Shout out, young buster, and in the back, love your daddy's streams. What? Hello? Uh, well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. But I don't need to tell him to show up. That's fucked up. Um, you think it's because I'm depressed? No, I don't think I don't get horny because of depression. I think it's just... I don't know. Like, How can I get a shout-out and a kiss blown my way? It's too... It, it's too much effort to come anymore. Like, it takes me, like, 20 minutes, dude. It's, like, it's, it's just too much effort. Like, I don't care enough, you know? Like, it feels good to come, but it's just not worth the effort. It also feels good to play RuneScape and, like, drink a Coca-Cola. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, the, I get the same amount of dopamine from drinking Coca-Cola that I do from jacking off. Or, like, coming or whatever. Um, can I get a shout-out and kiss blow my way? There you go, dude. Don't call me gay. Thank you, Charles. That was gay as fuck. That was gay. Okay. That, that was... Gay? That was, in, that was gay as fuck. Gay? Ice when Petey was on Earl News recently. He told Bones that you and Vold were side by side and he left both of your peens. Hmm? Uh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I already said the story a million fucking times. Um. We were in the laundry room. We pulled our pants down. Our dicks were soft. Petey licked both our dicks. I've said this before. It's, I don't see why that's a big deal. I mean, I guess you can call me like James Charles. You know, I'm converting gay men straight. Which, I mean, actually, I guess that's gay technically. Straight. Poor diet, masturbation habits, eating habits, and drug use. But I'm straight. Specifically so that's stimulants why I'm him straight. can all contribute to it. Your testosterone levels might be falling off too. Not healthy for a 24 year slash O to have that. Uh, well, I contacted the guy from the bar and he said it's cool with his manager for you to come around in around 10 minutes and he'll hook you up. Do you on Twitter if you want proof. Alright, let me check my Twitter and I'll see if, where that proof is in a little bit. Uh, cause that would be great, I'd love that. Thank you. Um, I do have poor diet. I don't really, I never masturbate though. My eating habits are always McDonald's every day. And drug use, I don't do drugs, but I do smoke weed sometimes. And when I smoke weed, I actually get horny. 
So that's, maybe I don't have erectile dysfunction because when I smoke weed, I get horny like that. Like I'm always horny when I smoke weed. Like I can always nut. I can nut and then I can literally smoke weed, smoke a blunt and I can nut again in like 10 minutes. So I guess it's just my mentality, like mental or something. Mental thing, I suppose. I try to do an OFAP challenge for 30 days. No porn, masturbation, and no orgasm. Do it for the stream. Rip my girlfriend, dude. There she would Just go me. along with it. I'm messing with you, man. I'm the guy who donated five hundred dollars to multiple people that go along with it. Okay. I mean, I always I go along with a lot of stuff, but uh, much first time see Steve, much love to y'all. The more he wears that, he's gonna turn into DJ. Yeah. I don't turn into DJ, motherfucker. That's fine. No, I would never do a, a no fap, dude, because like no, like I, I, I may not be that horny sometimes, but I could definitely come within 30 days. I feel like if I purposely didn't want to jack off, then I would get horny all the time. It's just a mental thing. Alright, we're like three minutes away. Take cold showers? What the fuck does cold showers do? Except make you uncomfortable as hell. Tell the thick Asian in the back to his me up and sell army at gmail.com. Tell the thick Asian in the back to his me up and sell army at gmail.com and sell army at gmail.com and sell army at gmail. What do you think about that? Incel army? Yeah, he said you're a thick Asian. That's pretty, that's, that's a good compliment. Oh, I wish people would call me thick. I mean, I know I'm not, but I wish they would just pretend. I mean, that'd be great. I don't know. Let me see. Where did the Asian come from? Uh, I had her locked in my closet and I finally let her out to motherfucking be the camera woman. That's all. It's always good to have a female camera girl because if anyone wants to try and press us, they see a girl, they won't press us. Uh, it's less intimidating. They see a bunch of... It's more approachable if the, cam if the woman is holding the camera. And more approachable, of course. Yeah, if there's a bunch of dudes that walk up to people, that's very uh, intimidating. All right, we're almost there, dudes. This place is farther than I remember it being. I remember I walked from downtown to Guadalupe like three days what ago. What the fuck? And it wasn't that long of a walk. It was like an hour. So, I can't believe I walked this fucking far. Here's a straight Guadalupe. Which way do you want to start? Left, Take a left, yeah. Left, yeah. I don't know, maybe a right? Let me see. No, no, it's left, it's left, it's left. Yo, where the fuck are all the people at, dude? Up in the motherfucking mass. I remember there was people last time we came here. Why does my favorite streamer have to be gay? Why me, God? I'm not goddamn yeah. gay. <laughs> You're gay, dude. I'm not. I'm not fucking gay, dude. I think it's the other way. Okay, we're gonna turn. Cause this shit is dead as fuck, dude. It's a long street. It is a long street. But where's where's the the, the the part by the school? I think the school is the other way. Cause I did not walk this far. I do remember that. Dude, that ice cream store had like fucking hundred people in it. Shit, man, that's the perfect shirt there. Yeah, we can't go in there. I mean, we could, but we have to get out real soon. Yeah, in like 30 seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> Is the Asian in the back single? Shout out your gram and he'll slide into your DMs. Hey, cute ass bitch. Look at me. Look at me in the camera. It'll give you this fat dick. I don't know if she's single. She can answer that if she wants, but I, I don't know. Remember, she's my mistress. Isn't that right? No. What you mean? I know, you're not, I'm just kidding, you're not my fucking mistress. What am I saying? I'm just ruining my own relationship. <laughs> Stop it. Alrighty, so... Maybe take a look on the map and see where the school okay. is in relation to where we are. Uh, okay, it's lit right here. Uh... That is not lit, dude. There's like <laughs> ten, there's like five You didn't people. see correct. Like... There's children. <laughs> How's that lit? What do you mean, bro? There's children. I ain't seen no kid. That's what they all say. My homie. name Tyrone. That's what they all say, homie. <laughs> uh, let me see your map. 
making me go like that way and shit now. Ice, I love you, man, but you literally look like a scuffed pro Jared. You have similar predatory behavior as well. Scuffed pro Jared, scuffed pro Jared, scuffed pro Jared, scuffed pro Jared, your new name. Dude, listen, dude, let me tell you something. Pro Jared sends his fucking nudes to his goddamn fans, like his girl fans. I don't do that. I have like 2% percent Steven, my heart goes I have out no to you. Fans to send nudes I feel too. like you are hamming it up. Let's hear you be real. Hell you gotta yeah. connect with the ladies and show them your real self. Hell You're yeah. good with the Spanish girls. Oh, straight. Yeah, yeah, I think I know where we are. Straight. Uh, yeah, you were good with the Spanish girls. So I'll go straight and try to park over here. Dude, I'm not, I do not look like fucking pro Jared either. Like, you got me fucked up. Like, I'm not fucking loyal, dude. Especially I in my relationship. If you are not gay, ask Steve to pay for advice. The Cajun help these two lost souls in one to pay. Man, y'all donators are, are real, man. What do you mean? Ask Stevie's toupee for advice? He doesn't have a fucking toupee, dude. What's a toupee? It's like a, it's fake hair. Oh. Yeah, my hair, people say that. Like, is you're bald and you wear like a fucking wig. Yeah, they think it's like I'm a, like a Donald Trump toupee or something. But, uh, I'm clearly not gay. Um, yo, where the fuck? I don't know where, this shit is not got nobody, dude. This shit had people before, now it doesn't. It's real dead hours, man. Where in the school? If we want, we can walk on the school because the, the school might have might have some people because yeah, there's so dorms. You fucking go to the school, dude. But I think we have to park somewhere. I don't remember seeing any of this shit. I don't even know. This is what I hate about Austin. Just like nowhere to fucking park. I mean, surely Houston's the same way, dude. Hey, I'm not Houston. You can park here. Where the fuck? You, 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 you. Soldier Boy Two. I got a new dance called Soldier Boy. Hold on, what is this? I got a message something. What is this? One second. Wait. <laughs> okay. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Motherfucker, all right. Uh, yeah, let's just park somewhere. Yeah. I believe the school's over there. Yeah, I'll go around. Bro, I don't know why people donate such ridiculous things. That's like, funny though. Singing yeah. Soldier Boy, why? Yeah, I remember <laughs> where we are. I know exactly where we are. So the school is right there. Yeah. So just park just anywhere on the side of the street here. Fuck. Fuck. Right. No. Fuck. All right. Well, we'll find a place eventually. I do see girls walking around, so this is a good. This is a good symbol. It's a good sign. I see some girls. Let me see. Pregnant need help. Dude, apparently Congress wants to ban abortion. Dude, that is so fucking stupid, man. I agree. I think that's dumb. Because there are girls that are pregnant that don't want to be pregnant. Come on, Congress. We've got to look out for the younger generation here. I know y'all are old and went through menopause, but come on. Take a look out. is not killing babies, dude. It's respecting the rights of women. It's not a human if it's before the pri first prime minister. Prime minister. Prime, 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 uh, how do you say that? The first trimester or some shit like that? Like, That's for school. No, no, no. Like, like, uh, Here, I'll put it like this. It's like bleeding and then stepping on your blood. You're killing the blood cells. That's what it is. Like, that's not a human. That's not part of me. I'm not the blood cells. You're not stepping on me. It's just, you know, you're stepping on cells. On blood cells. Alright, fucking... There's really nowhere to park here. We fucked up. We should've just Ubered. But I did see some liquor stores back there, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully this doesn't disconnect here. Pro worth
what sucks about having a truck. You really fit in places. All right, just bear with this, chat. Okay, Chad, since y'all want to talk about the abortion stuff, is a plan B wrong? The pills that you take that stops pregnancy? Because I don't think those are wrong either. But by people who say abortion is bad, by your definition, the plan B pills should also be banned because they stop the fetus from becoming alive. What about the pills that just, you know, the pills, like pills that rid out fetuses and stuff? Use a condom? No. No, dude, here's the thing. If abortion gets banned, we have to all use condoms. Fuck that shit, okay? Pull-out game is good 99% of the time. That 1% could happen, though. I've never had that happen, but it could happen. So, you know, it's always good to have that backup. Having, forcing people to wear condoms? No, fuck that shit. Okay, same with birth control. If you hate abortion, then you must hate birth control. Birth control literally takes life away from many babies. That could have been potential. Also, anyone who said... Hey, abortion's bad. What if your condom breaks? Then what? You're just stuck with a baby? I'm just saying, dude. People say that they don't want abortion until their condom breaks and they change their mind. If you nut on a chair or bed and someone sits on it, would that be considered babysitting? Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Let's get the fuck out. The abortion could have been me. Could have been anyone. All right. And I'm, I'm lucky I wasn't an abortion. I'm lucky. All right, let's do this. I think it's just a street down. Are you sitting over the other side now? You, you should start taking some anti-gay medication. I don't want to start developing your gay behavior by watching you. <laughs> you don't have to worry, okay? It's nothing to worry about, on me. The Cajun in the back, I didn't get your email yet. It's since alarmy I E. At the end of gmail.com, the Cajun in the back, I didn't get your email alarm, yet. Shy. It's since alarm, yeah. Okay, e, at the end of gmail. Dot. He'll hit, she'll, she'll hit you up, alright? Although, who the fuck uses gmail to hit girls up? What's your phone number, though? I should, probably shouldn't say it on stream. I had bang with Hilker first time, does that count? Yeah. That does, because it's still sex. It doesn't matter if it was with a hooker or who or whatever. Sex is still sex. And that's something I can respect. I've banged hookers. Amsterdam. It wasn't fun, but it was still sex nonetheless. Paid or not. They didn't even look at me. They had a fucking TV on and watched television. I'm like, damn, this sucks. I'm like, I don't want to listen to this shit. I barely got off. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hello. Hurry up, son. I s You like Steve's toupee. Just admit it. I will never admit that. I will never admit that. All right, right here. All of Stevie.
Greetings. Hello. Hi. How are you? What are you guys up to? Why did they? Why, why the fuck did they just like they they walked faster? He said hi. They started walking faster. Why is it like motherfucker? Like I don't look bad, right? How do I look? You look decent. You look approachable. Oh, good. What the fuck you talking about? I wouldn't go that far, but. Okay, I look approachable, right? What about Stevie? He looks approachable too. Perfect. Excuse me. Hi. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Hello. Hi. 512 gang move forever at the domain. Check Twitter DMV. Let's smoke. So we are doing a live stream here, and I don't know if this is weird to you guys. I'm trying to keep it all, you know, all good here. But we're doing a live stream. My friend Stevie, sad story actually. <laughs> he just got out of the hospital. Not a normal hospital. He got out of the mental hospital about a month ago, and he hasn't left his house in over a month. And this is the first time that he's left his house and we want to document it. Mm-hmm. And we're looking for friends to hang out with. Preferably girls because we also want to try and, you know, <laughs> find him a maybe wife. Uh, well, not, not a wife, but, you know, like, just hang out. We're actually not from Austin. We're just visiting. Even better. Oh. So there's no strings attached here. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, he's not from Austin either, so well, you guys well, will never see each other again. Welcome to not Los Angeles get used to the hot, miserable place people come home. So he went to the mental hospital because he actually had a freak out and he smashed a glass over his head, like a bottle. Um, I'm obviously not as a to get friends with him. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to like help him into the world and guide him here. So, I mean, some people say it's commendable, but it's also an impossible mission. Will you guys please help the mission go from impossible to realistic? <laughs> How do I do that? By hanging out with us. Instead of going home, why don't you come hang out with us? I mean, we leave tomorrow, yeah. so... Even better! Like I said, you'll never see any of us again. No strings attached here. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we work early tomorrow morning. Yeah. Early tomorrow night. So where do you guys live? We live in Dallas. So you guys are going to drive to Dallas tomorrow morning. We're taking a bus. And then you have... We work home. tomorrow morning. We yeah. tomorrow night. We're taking a bus tomorrow morning. We're here for an internship. Oh, so you're working here tomorrow morning. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. But this is super cool. Yeah. Well, how about this? We're not going to be out for long. Why don't we go to a park and drink some, like, water? No, I'm good. But thank you. No, no, we really no, have no. to go, though. Oh, like a Taco Bell? No, we're good. We just dinner. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Stevie, I can't talk for you, bro. You got to do this. <laughs> but I'm scripting being, like, retarded. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe that's not the way to go. <laughs> I can't talk for you. I could say, because if I, if I walk up to them and I say we're doing this thing and blah 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 they're gonna be like well, I have to say we're doing a live stream because otherwise they're gonna be like what the fuck's the camera and they're gonna be uncomfortable so we have to you have to be the one that, uh, that talks to them I can't do it for you because otherwise it doesn't make sense yeah like, but you why? already know what I say it's just gonna be super cringe yeah but stuff that I say <laughs> they'll be like why the fuck are you talking for him <laughs> just, all right, all right, just fine, talk fine. to somebody all like right. they're a normal person all right, all right I'll talk to them I'll talk to them you know, don't, don't, don't. It's, it's just that right as the moment they see the fucking camera, they're like, oh, okay, never mind. Well, that's why you tell, <laughs> that's why you tell them off the bat that, the, that the, there's a camera. Or, so or, they don't feel uncomfortable by or, it. Or, or filming from a distance, you know, not too close. Well, if to we do that, then uh, how would no, Because if they want to hang out with us, they're going to eventually see the camera. So we Get have, the camera girl to set the stage with people. Randoms are more receptive to women. Less intimidating. Like creepy ass motherfuckers. You already look creepy. He looks sketchy. The camera makes us less uh, less fucking creepy. Trust me. Okay, okay. So you. Just I mean, at least it's Jandro over there. Pretend, pretend that you're talking to men. That's what okay, I have to say. Right. You talk to men pretty good. So just yeah. pretend you're talking to a bunch of men. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, walk over there. But isn't it over there? I believe the camp. No, the campus is right here. Yeah. Alrighty. We 
got to find someone who's not just crossing the street here. So they, have, so they actually stop and talk to us. Right. Everyone for loves to cross the road before the light turns red. For, for real, for real, no cap. The next chick I see, I'm going to actually approach and start talking to. All right, next one. Does, one, do you one, that, one, that's, one that's not with a... It's not that I'm nervous. It's just like the moment we're going to start talking to them, they're just going to fucking leave. That's not <laughs> And true. not be down. I, I held those girls there for a good five minutes. Before they... Well, that's because they're nice enough to talk to you. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're not just all going to leave. <laughs> If you talk to them like a normal person, all right, they, all right, they'll right. stop. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, hi, do you remember me? We used to go to school. No, we did Yeah, we did. Remember, I was with, I had you for seven period. Remember, you went to um, that, that, that one school? All right, I'm Steve. You probably don't remember me. But... Steve, you better not skip out on the lip work. Yeah. Show your inner clono brother. You, you were in band and uh, orchestra? Yeah, no, oh, God. Yes, Shit, all right. You were, you were in a dance because a lot of, of good-looking girls go to dance, right? Uh, getting closer. Ah, oh, man. Stage thing. Uh, drama, drama. Yeah. Drama, yes. I was in drama, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I was in drama. You were in drama, too. Uh-huh. That's sick, yeah. What, what, what's your name though? Uh, my name's Steve. We, we went to the same school. I remember you. It's just I, I forgot your name. Uh, Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, like the Mortal Kombat character from MK11 who controls blood? I wouldn't know, but that sounds super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Scarlet's one of the most badass people in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah, you're Scarlet, and and I could be like Liu Kang or Sub Zero. Like, <laughs> get over here! <laughs> wait, no, wait, that. Wait, no, no, that's Scorpion. Yeah. So, yeah. I see the confusion on my face. No, no, when I, that's why I was like, hey, I, I, went, I went to school there. I just never knew you. You, you probably didn't even knew me either because I would just pass by. And I was like, I would be that one kid that would like sit in, sit in the back of the classroom with like a Minecraft t-shirt, like playing DS. Yeah, yeah that, that was me. I, I never really did anything. <laughs> well, she just spoiled it. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of figured it out once I saw uh, the camera. <laughs> yeah. How do I get strippers to get rid of my number? Well, what are you guys um... Doing? We're just looking for someone to hang out with, you know, some some someone nice and genuine and cool, and, and you seem to fit that category. You down, you down to hang out with us? We, we'll buy you food and stuff. Honestly, any other day, but I just got done with the test. And I'm really upset. Over that. I hope you pass. Me too. I hope you pass. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Goodbye. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why are you upset over your test? Because I overthought one question and I got it right, but then I changed it to the wrong answer because oh, I was Wait, so they already it. Great. I hate it when that happens. No, I just like checked on the way out because it was like, um, the question was very like simple where they gave us like three sort of things that dictate uh, like what country it is. Well, think about it like this. That's only one question. You probably aced the test either way. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you pass, honestly, dude, because like you want to get this over with and graduate and you can start actually starting your life. What did you say your name was? Scarlet. That's right, Scarlet. How can you forget? Mortal Kombat, because I have no memory um, <laughs> after my accident. So, Scarlet, how about this? How about you take down Steve's number? Maybe you guys can hang out later. Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually live here, and I also have a house in Houston and Dallas. Uh, no offense, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. Oh, okay, it's fine. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're 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 we're, we're, we're cool people. <laughs> what makes it uncomfortable? I don't know. I've just never. You never been approached to as in, in a way like this. I've never been approached with a camera. Like He's this. a famous YouTuber. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I you know, you know, Pew, you know, PewDiePie. Yeah. I I made his career actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to play yeah, video yeah, games. Is it terrible that I only learned about his name like two weeks ago? No, it's not bad at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> nah, nah. Do you know James Charles? <laughs> I've literally just started following that stuff. So. He's, he's, fr <laughs> he's friends with James yeah, Charles. I'm friends with James. Yeah, he tried. He tried. He actually DM'd me asking me for like advice, like way long years mm -hmm. ago. And then I should have. I feel like I should have actually helped him because I look at him now. He has like a billion subscribers. I'm like, fuck, could have made his career, just like I made PewDiePie's career. PewDiePie has more subscribers though. True. Yeah. I'm so lost. No, we're, we're just very. We're. we're we're the stream should be called How Not to Be Cringe. Seriously, this is really cringe I mean, beyond around, cringe. You know, kind of talking to people. You, you, like, you, you know, you ever go to Facebook and you see those fucking pranks in public and shit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I yeah. <laughs> so what did he do wrong here? We're trying to get him to talk to some people and like make like a hangout thing happen. But what did he do wrong? We'll, we'll, we'll shout you out and make make it in, 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 like make you super popular. Oh yeah, I'm like totally popular already. Um, I don't know. It just kind of. Uh, it's just very like it's it's yeah, it's, just it's very so sudden. fast. Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you think you should have said? Like, you know, talk more about you first. I I guess so. It's just like uh, just having someone approach you on the street is just weird altogether. So maybe I don't know, do it in like more of a setting that's already like very public and people are already like talking rather than maybe just on the street yeah well, we can't really do that we don't have like the yeah. we don't have like the funding and stuff for that you know yeah that's true yeah I s Scarlett tastes the test she likes it in the butt oh my what? god yeah don't, don't listen to Siri she, I don't know what she's okay. talking about okay Siri alright well we'll let you be then and thank you for talking to us yeah. Scarlett we appreciate yeah. it it was nice meeting you you're, you're super yeah. cool Dan, you went from a hug to a handshake. <laughs> I've been... Do, would you like another hug? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I got another hug, guys. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Okay. Goodbye. Have a good one. Good luck. Yeah, I hope you pass your test. Thank you. Yeah. Please stop with this grudge. Okay, that went well. No, we didn't. What are you... I got two hugs. Stevie, you could have got more <laughs> than a hug. Dog. Dude, she was literally gonna play... No, dude, I... Like, no. Dude, because you... Alright, if I get another hug from a girl, will you stop calling me a beta? Yes. Okay, all right. Dude, you're way too assertive. You scare them. How did, how, how did she look scared? If she was scared, she would have walked away. No, when they're scared, they are too. They don't walk away. They're too afraid to walk away. Okay, alright. Let's see you try then. They'll just walk away from you. I mean, no, they won't, dude. I had those other girls for... <laughs> they weren't scared at all. You're, you're too assertive. You have to be like... Talk, talk about them first. Yeah. Be, like, you know how I said you remind me of Sam and Andy? I actually take that back. You're not Sam and Andy. Thank you, thank you. Who am I then? You're Mexican Andy. Fuck! <laughs> what do you mean, dude? What's the principle? I mean, I'm not, you're just, you're too assertive. Try to be more like, oh, what kind of test was it? Oh, you know, why did you take that class? Like, pretend to care about them first. Make, I, I make, did care about make, No, no, for longer than three seconds, though. Make them feel good about themselves first. Well, shit, damn, dude, that's like a lot of, that's a lot of work right there. How y'all doing? Hey. We're, we're trying to figure out how to make girls feel good about themselves. Huh. What would you recommend? I said talk about them first. Talk about themselves first. Realize that your penis has this power of projecting. Steve needs whiskey. Into the woman, even with your mind, by talking then she's starting to feel your essence. And so you gotta get your own projection right. It's not about a certain form of conversation. It's about your projection. It means the energy that you're putting in there. It's like, that's fake, you know? It's like, you gotta be real. It's not just about, oh, should I talk like this? Steve is like a groper, like Blade, but from the front. Yo, I see the missing energy inside of you. And I'm gonna vibrate it while I talk about what pleases you. Is that, is that how, is that, so how did you manage to get this, this her? How'd you do it? How'd you do it, Sam? Did you project your penis? No, I projected my... He did, he did. Well, and then probably. I was like, that shit is off. And then he was like... Steve, you don't, don't blow this one. Yeah. Get her to blow you. Like, she already mentioned the P like, word. Told me my penis projection is off. And I'm like, we've been married for like 13 years, you know. Oh, I congratulations, you guys. Off. Yeah, I told him he was off right away. So what does penis projection mean? It means that your projection is most epitomized inside your penis. But it's also your mind, it's your thoughts, it's your vibration that you're putting out there. And since we are essentially wound together like our genitals, I've heard girls love it when you walk up with your dick out. Try that. You. So if you're just sitting there kind of trying to <laughs> intellectualize, she's going to probably, if she's college educated, she might over intellectualize you. It's like a mental battle at that point. That's not hot. So how do you get past that? Because you, you can't just walk up to girls with your penis out. No, you do walk up to girls with your penis out all the time just by looking like you look, That's, just by acting like yeah, you Yeah, walking act. with your dick out. Did bro. you do that? Every man does. It's a mental... But see, women haven't gotten in touch with their vaginas. It's psychic. It's if always I walk out, the energy. If I walk out with my She's penis... She's not physically. Yeah. Oh. Energetically. Your energy, man, as I'm saying, it's hitting Your women. energy is Like, we have to kind of guard ourselves as women because, like, men's 
like, yo, what's so that thought? How do you... Holy oh, shit, you, we have 26,000 viewers. Wow. Penis projection. Filter test. How do you do that? Penis projection. Penis projection, gang. You gotta learn Penis how to projection network. Energy. I you like this. Alchemize. You gotta learn how to live beyond circumstance. If you can live beyond circumstance, then you can start to vibrate listening? energy yes, yes. beyond what your trips around you are feeding you. You can be beyond, and then you can give the woman what ain't. How many tabs of LSD is this Betron? 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 And the earth and the roots, and used to come in and go, here I am. You know, when I, uh, when I smoked a DMT, yeah. I understood what the universe was about, hmm. but I never understood what women were about. Well, I'm telling that you, was key. the missing key. This is the vibrational key, because it doesn't matter what you say, it's so the vibration you're putting inside of her when you're saying it. So I have to buy a dildo? No. You don't need a dildo, you need consciousness, man. You need to put that consciousness inside her, but first, you gotta get in touch with your inner vagina, which is that part of you that feels things. No, I don't have that. Yeah, it's right here. My heart? Yeah, that's your vagina. It's very small. Receptivity. That's oh. your ability to So basically, you gotta walk up to girls doing a penis thrust. The bigger the thrust, the better chance for the smash. Yeah, that depends what kind of girl you're into. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, some girls are into that shit, but like, you know. Steve loves vibrating penis, penis more direction. than the projecting penis hippies. Penis hippies? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, some of these guys, they it's, don't, it's they Siri, don't, it's Siri. They don't what understand. What are they talking about? They just, they they're don't not understand. human. Yeah, yeah, they're not human. They don't understand. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they're the DMT aliens. So now, just you guys got your stuff you got to deal with. But I'm just telling you, that's a key element in your life as men. If you can understand that, because your mind is planting seeds inside of women. And you got to be careful what seeds you're planting. Like people talk. Oh, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Do. It's like people, okay, you can be cool, you can be intimate, you can be deep, you can talk about anything. But if your mind ain't right, that means like, for instance, flirty. What's flirty? Like me and my man, we're married. So it's like, I could talk about penises. I could talk about vaginas. I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? But I don't go doing things with my penis or my vagina that isn't inappropriate because my penis would be insinuating with my energetic power that I would have sex with you. I would not have sex with you because I am married. I hire this girl for the stream. She is very good content. She can make money. Penis projection network, penis projection, penis projection. What I'm projecting on you means you, it don't matter. People say blah, 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 it don't matter. But what your energy you're putting out there, that's why we're cool right now. Because I'm putting out energy like, yo, here's some wisdom. I don't need to have sex with you. Yeah, you know I what mean, I'm saying? That you know makes... what I'm saying? And so that's cool. So that's my projection. My projection is straight. <laughs> you know, and, um, see, some guys, they don't have a straight projection. You don't know if they really want to have sex with you and then how far they want to go with their seed. Are they going to plant it inside of you? Are they going to make a life with you? Or they just trying to get I, some I, action I, I off and they trying to go put like your seed in a trash can. I, yeah, it's I not the size that counts, it's the motion the of the can. emotion. I do not want no you know what I'm saying? anywhere except that trash can. See, yeah, that's cool though, or but you gotta be clear with that. So then you wanna know how many different or trash cans you want your seed in. They have you want it in hundreds of trash cans? Birth control. Twenty trash cans? You know you want it in one trash can? You know, you gotta decide where, how many different seeds you want plant, because you're gonna water those trash cans? No, 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 I, get, I watered a woman with the birth control, and then we, inside the vagina, we good. So you're cool. Hell yeah. Then we're done here. What, what's your name? Kaya. What's your name? Sing. Hey, nice to see you guys. Nice you guys have nice wisdom to meet you guys. off the fucking yeah. charts. Yeah, man. We will use that next time we approach women. Sexualrevolution.com, man. That's, oh, okay. That's where it's at. Is that you guys read it? No, I didn't oh. read it. I created it, man. I channeled it. You should make a Reddit. Inner It'll blow up. Receptivity. And now I'm speaking with my projection to share it, you know? She kind of looks like a pirate. Well, it's nice to see you, you guys. Thank, that shit, though. thank you okay. for the wisdom. Thank you. Know, you. She already knows, though. <laughs> that was... That, wow. My mind is open. Alright, so next time you walk up to a girl, I'm gonna fucking... Please pull out my dick. No, penis projection. No, okay. not physically. Okay. Hey, Paul, let Stevie put his penis in your vagina. <laughs> okay. Just, okay. Alright, let's go to the campus. Um, penis, remember, Stevie, penis projection. Penis projection. Okay. Say it with me. Penis projection. Penis, penis uh, dick and balls. Yes. Penis projection. Yes. And then penis projection. If the girl starts to get scared, just say you have a vagina. Just pull out my dick. Uh, what? No, no. Say you have a vagina. Oh, okay, okay. And now she'll be relatable to you. She'll oh, be able okay. to relate. Like, I have a vagina too. It makes sense. Yeah. That was interesting, though. They have, yeah, dude, they have some real wisdom there. Dude, I think what she meant was you gotta have confidence. Real woke. Hours. That's. I, I. I hope that's what she. I, don't I am now woke. I don't know what she meant to be honest. I was like, what? The fuck, what? She was woke. Yeah. 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 Woke. Motherfucking. They're a transcended memer. I, 
I, yeah, she was memeing, dude. I can <laughs> shake serious, dog. But I don't know. Sexual Revolution, check that shit out. I'm gonna definitely. Sexual I'm Revolution. I'm gonna check that out. Com. I'm checking that out. Yo, you guys blow that shit up. I mean, what? All right, Steve. It's all you, bro. I plant mine seeds with my energetic penis PP. Vagina eyes are burritos and burgers with projected price eggs collected by Frito Lay. I haven't taken. Oh, you don't know? No. I thought I had you from class, that's why. Stevie! Of those. Oh, okay. Sorry. Alright. Stevie. Let me, let me let me show you what you did. Fuck, dude. Outside perspective. <laughs> she stepped back. You had your hands like this, and you stepped forward. That's, that's, that's scary. Okay. When they're stepping back, you should step back farther so they step forward. Because they want the space. Okay, okay. I'll back away. But, uh, cause you know, it's like you have to make the girl feel as comfortable as possible. The next girl you talk to, I feel like you should talk to her on your knees. Okay, I'll get on my knee. now she can look down on you and she feels like she has- Cassandra is hot. You'll, she'll feel empowered by that. You know, if you can empower women, then they'll talk to you. Okay. Even if they're not attracted to you, if you empower them, they will be attracted to that. Alright, I will step back and get down on my knees. Although you can't play it off as weird. Otherwise it won't work. Alright. Hi. Hi. Hello. Steve. You said back away and get on your knees. They're holding hands. They're not into men. Come on, dude. <laughs> you have to pick and choose. You say. <laughs> I think what you Fuck this, I'm on blog TV time. with my fucking hands up. I'm God not starting it. my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch. This stupid fucking all righteous ignorant fucking Nictor Alex was doing this. Fuck Alex. Thank you, dude. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's not get on the knees. Let's not do that. Actually. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Hi. Can we ask you a question? Can we ask you a question? Hi, my name is Steve. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, hi. Yeah, we're just we're we're new in campus. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're we're like we're like typical, but like, how are you doing today? Um, I'm doing well. I just got right. back also. I'm I hope you passed your test. Thank you. Yeah. Because so honestly, you deserve you deserve whatever credit. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, I'm super happy to be done. So. Yeah, because honestly, it's almost school's almost up, and you know you need to get your life together and you can finally go out and like go to the I clubs like, stuff, yeah. What people have told me though is that you never really get your life together. And I feel like that's good uh, advice to live by. But okay. yeah, thank you. Nah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a slow process, you know. It's like, okay, you graduate, you you go, you get your internship. Oh, what's your name? Oh, my name's Kavya. Ka wait, Kavya? Kavya. Kavya. Kanye? Kenya. Close, but not really. Oh, okay. Cognac, like Henny. What are y'all doing this for? Doing what? I don't know. What? What is that? What is, I don't see nothing over there. You're gonna creep around. We're doing we a live. Are we creep? We're doing a live stream. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yes, we have many questions. Yeah, like, like, how old are you? Um, I'm. 20, hey, I'm 21 too. Oh, hey, 21, awesome. 21, 21 That's gang. Right. Yeah. You ever seen the 21 Savage? Not really, no. But you know who 21 Savage is? You know, yeah. 21, 21, 21, I like 21. Alternative music. So. Oh, okay, yeah. alternative. So you like Green Day? Yes. Oh, hell yeah, Green and Day. Blink 182. Yeah. And My Chemical yeah. Romance. Yes. That's some good shit. Hell yeah. All right, I probably have to head out too, but. Oh, you, you don't want to hang out? We could, like, go get some, go get some pizza. I'm so sorry. It's oh. a big, but it was nice to meet you. Yeah, I hope you pass your test. That was good. Steve is a lost cause. That was better than before. No, it wasn't. That Dude. Was, that was the, what happened to penis projection? I did. I literally went up to her. We're like that. Steve. It's a lost cause.
I told you, dude, it's not gonna happen. Zeke, you're, you're, you're too aggressive. How was I aggressive? I wasn't really near her. Like, Why did you sing 21 Savage to her? Because she was 21 <laughs> years old. But she doesn't know. She, she, she's never listened to 21 Savage. Oh, this hurts to watch. So when you sing it, she's like, what the fuck? Does, what does it mean? Oh, no. It's okay, Steve. I will, uh, I'll approach the next one. And I will uh, do my, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll spit some game. And then I'll slide her number to you. Okay. And then when she thinks she's hanging out with me, she's really hanging out with you. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. That's what we'll do. Okay. But, uh, but like I said, okay, so, I might be kind of rusty here. Oh. Hey, hey, how about when, if, if we ever, if we succeed, and then it, it becomes time to fuck, can, can I call, can I This is so cringe and physically sweaty. And I can leave the room and you go in. And then she'll think it's me, that it, you that's fucking... No, I have a girlfriend. But it's, well, I can't it's say not, that you're not cheating because I'm sloppy. I, I'm gay. I can't I'm tell like, that was his tie. Like, like, like his red face red. was as red as a tomato in mouth. Huh? What? Hello. Oh. Hi. Hey, hi. How are you? Hey, hi. Are you doing good? Are you, are you, did you just finish your final? Oh, I hope you pass. Yeah, I just took my final too. God, it was so hard. It was it was uh for um for um law law and uh, police. Yeah, cause I, I'm I'm a, yeah yeah, cause I'm I'm gonna be a lawyer. Yeah. So uh, like, since I'm gonna be a lawyer, you know, how about give me your number so that whenever you get like get in a car crash or something, I could I could help. Who's you. running the camera? Oh, okay. It's uh, our friend here. Hi, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who they are. They're just following me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, bye. Take when you say time. that, it sounds so creepy, dude. <laughs> Yo, let me let me on, let dude. me do it. Let me walk up and do it. Okay, yeah, dude. Okay, look, we're in a school campus. Everyone's literally heading out of class to go to their dorms and shit. Bro, where do you? Why will they say fuck going to bed? For... If you're in college. You typically date other college people, right? Yeah, you, you you know where people go? They go to Rainy Street. Well, it's too early to go to those places. It's the sun. This is the, the moon is coming up. Like, Dude, we, we it's went turning to, night. We it's, went to Sixth Street last night at like eleven, and it was like okay. Dude, it didn't start getting busy until like one a.m. So, but it's Saturday, though. Saturday, Saturday. I mean, it was Friday yesterday. Friday is fucking sad day. Here, let's. Uh, let me see here, let's go this way. Man, this place is fucking sick. So I'll walk I wish, up to wish the next I went to college. I wish you were in college. I mean, we. I did go to college. No, but like like this, you know, being cool and shit. Like no, I had an online class. Well, I, I, okay, I, I, so that's well, not well, I, I went to online, real, by the way. I went to real college too for some of it. Um, <laughs> it was alright. I mean, I don't know. I fucking hated it. I don't know. I, fuck, I hate school. Like, I don't like school. Getting my associate's degree is the worst fucking thing on the planet. Alright. Someone who doesn't have headphones. No, peace. I did mine. I hope I passed. Yeah. If I don't pass, I'm gonna have to stay here. Please make it stop Jewel Poseidon. Cringe level 99, 200 million X. Oh, keeps walking up to girls. I can't do it. I, I can't keep, I can't even get up to her goals. Black. He can't, he keeps going up to them. Yeah, well, anyway, it was nice to meet you, you know. See, see you later. Okay. What was that? At least again, hugs. That's a good start. That's a fantastic start. Here, let me walk up to these girls. Let's try this. Bro, that shit was thick as fuck. I'll try this. Okay, go ahead. Get him back. Hi. Excuse me. Can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you guys a question? Are you guys Uh, yeah, we're doing a live stream. Is that okay? Um, <laughs> don't need to be shy. I just got back from Japan. I don't know if you guys are from Japan. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, well, I was from Japan. I was in Japan. Just get this fucker a hooker and a cigarette and call it tonight. This is cringing me into a deep abyss. Start off by count. saying you're a national reality yeah, TV yeah. star pussy. Steve is a pussy. Yeah, yeah, cringe, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Fuck cringe, dude. Class A cringe. Listen, I didn't count. Okay. They were 
doing some and you know, fucking spoke Korean, so let me get somebody who's not doing stuff and doesn't and speaks fucking English. How about that's a good start? How about that? Literally everybody here is doing something. <laughs> No, we've talked to a lot of people so far. Yeah, but none of them are down to come like hang out with us and shit. I mean, this isn't the best environment, but it has the most people right now. <laughs> you just admitted it. <laughs> Steve is like a penis projection. 21 Savage put his pee pee in Steve and made him 20 21, 21, and a half 21, Savage. 21, 21, 21. Yeah. Sorry, uh, what's your name? Uh, Ice, listen. Let camera girl set the stage for randos. They will be more receptive to a girl approaching them initially. And Stevie stop lying about stuff. See, they can saying? all tell. Ice is a normal behavior to have strippers grab your junk? Yes, it is. As long as you pay them. If you don't, then you're lucky. Light camera girl set the stage for randoms. They'll be more receptive to a girl approaching. Are you? Do you want to approach the girls? Um, I'll try. But I'm pretty shaky. No, no. Give it a try. I'll try. Because that person has a point. They will be more receptive to girls. Like I said. This doesn't work. I am sweating physically Nighttime too. Street will. Nighttime Sixth Street will work. This yeah. isn't the best environment to be fair, but it just has the most young people right now until later tonight. Oh man. I kinda miss that Mexican milk man. Yo, the internet here is pretty good. Fucking awesome, dude. You have, an 20, F. you have an F. I know, 2500 bit rate, no Fs on a phone. Hey, that's not bad. Oh yeah. Hi. How are you? Can I ask you a question? Yes. How are you? Pretty good. Are you guys all together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I want to just, uh, so I'm just, I'm new here. Okay. And I don't know what to do in Austin. Oh. And if you guys have any suggestions. Is this for like the vlog? Yes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Well, I'm, well, if you want me to be real with y'all. Yeah, be real. I'm looking for girls for my friend here. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, uh, so I'm, I'm very self-conscious. Like, well, I don't want to talk to girls. Uh, I'm 32. 32. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you go down there? This is giving me anxiety. I need a Xanax. <laughs> it's kind of early for Rainy Street. <laughs> really? 6th Street, maybe? Kind of early for 6th Street. Gotta wait till like 1 a.m. where they're all, where everyone gets drunk. And... Yeah, maybe just do that. Sweet. Do that. <laughs> yeah, wait it out. Oh, you know what? Go to the union. The union? Yeah. Like a workers' union? No, yeah. the student union. Student union? What is that? Yeah, yeah we just played uh, air hockey. You can bowl, you can play air hockey, you can play pool. Where is that at? It's uh, the tower. Yeah. Right? You just go to the tower, the base of the tower. The tower's over this way, right, Dad? Like yeah. Direction. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's there's like just a there. hangout spot. Yeah, okay. hangout yeah it's spot. like a hangout yeah. spot. Okay. Well, and then you. there's also a cactus cafe, which oh, is kind of cool. Is it on the Guadalupe Street? Yeah. It's a cactus cafe. Is that a, is that a Gucci belt? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's sick. I was like, <laughs> looking at it like, like <laughs> right, well, we'll check it out yeah. then, guys. Yeah, best of luck. Yeah, I was, def I was definitely checking out your, 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 uh, your belt. Yeah. Right, pretty sick. Are you guys in school? <laughs> <laughs> Do we look like we're in school? I don't know. I have advice for that guy. Lose weight. Do no fat for 90 days. Or if you cannot commit to major change, just kill yourself. All right. Well, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. <clears throat> Alright, so let's Wanna go to that tower? Uh, Trump Tower? I don't think we would last in the student union, to be honest. I think we'd get kicked off. Well, I could just go in and then come out. No, I don't want that. Hello. How are you? Are you busy right now? Can we ask you a question? Yeah, we just want to say hi to you. Cause we're, we're, doing a, uh, we're doing a live stream, so we just wanted to ask people questions. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Well, well, take care. Stevie, you have to let me do it. When you talk, it scares them off as well. That's why I didn't want to talk. I was scripting to being retarded, but then now you said, but why, oh, I, why, I, said, I, said, I said, I want to be the one to do it. Why do you keep talking? Fuck it, let's go to the tower, dude. Look, it's right there. Just ask random college chicks what they think about penis projection. Is it a real thing, or was that lady just crazy? The truth these, is out there. She has these two dudes, like, coming up to her. She, you know, she feels intimidated. That has to be one one person, one guy. And then shy as well. She has to start, you know. Okay. God damn it, just leaked her. Because she stopped, and then she quickly was like, fuck this, and went off. Fucking come on. <laughs>
Uh, I don't think we should go in the student union. Just let's just go real quick and then leave. Let's just let's just do some reconnaissance. Is that? Let's go check it out. To, you have to go inside. Yeah, I don't want to go inside. Uh, yeah, don't go inside. Oh, let's just walk by. Yeah, we can just walk by. It's right there. And then just somehow work our way inside somehow. You know, teleportation. Let's let's bust the tab. Like an acid tab. No, like like a like a Faldor tab. Oh yeah, perfect. A tele tab. There you go. There's too many stairs. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm probably oh, than you are. I'll be real with you. Look at that pair of balls. Oh, fuck, man. Look, Look at those balls, them awesome. big balls. Let me touch it. Perfect. That's some big balls. What is this fucking building, dude? What is this tower? You got it, Stevie. You can do it. Come on, it's ringing for us, bro. It's ringing for us, dog. You can do it. Why does the back of your jersey say what? <laughs> what? W. No. What? There you go. All right, let's go to the bitch. Damn, this is a nice campus, though. This shit is like. It's clean. It's real clean. The one thing about Texas is, I like the hot weather, I do, but I do not like this humidity. I'm from Florida, so I'm used to the, I'm used to the humidity, it's not bad, like I'm not sweating, but damn, like, I never liked it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that was, pretty bad over here, dude. At least in California, there was no humidity. That's the one thing that I, I do miss. I, I don't like humidity. Yeah. I feel sticky, I feel wet. Like, I'm not sweating, but I'm like, I'm just fucking wet, dude. All right. We're definitely not going inside there. That just looks like a haven for... No, Stevie. We're not going inside there. We're not, we're not doing that. What? We're not, we're not going inside fucking the stores and shit, dude. This is not a store, it's a campus. Yeah, a motherfucking campus. That's even worse. You know how many students have to deal with? If, if he can't walk up the stairs, how is he going to last in bed with a girl younger than him? God. Oh. <laughs> God uh, damn. Blow jobs. God damn. Get fucking blow jobs. Holy shit, that was a good one, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, I don't last in bed at all. I fucking gas out in like a minute. Like, I, I literally am the laziest fucker in, in the world. Like, I, I feel bad for some of the girls that I've been with, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely, like, I, oh, I mean, I don't feel bad. Like, what am I saying? I Listen, I'm just a lazy fucker, that's all. Like, I'm good at pleasing my girls, but damn, like, I'm a lazy fucker. I'm not lazy, I'm just, like, an uh, unhealthy fucker. Here, talk to this guy, maybe more of your league. Okay, okay. You said you wanted to cry. Can't sleep. Ice. Can I get a high? straight down it's like the last building oh all right thank, thank you brother it was cool it's not, it's just like... yes hello oh how are you Jeez. how are you I'm good fun, i'm pretty good hell yeah dude <laughs> i think he's from ip2 what's that why do you say that what ip what i, I don't know i didn't hear anything i thought you were gonna flirt with him what happened Imagine wearing a jersey like it's normal clothes. ISIS Discord mod BTW. <laughs> Failure at life. Only exists to be Paul's mod. Hey, the like Cajun girl email me, me at incel army I. E. At gmail.com hit me up thick. There's nothing. What, what are you saying? Discord mod, by the way? Yeah. Everyone wants to be a Discord mod. This is the I wish SDDS and dates weren't a thing. I can't feel shit when it's I use a condom. Call. Let me see what this says. Sorry. I didn't hear it. I said, I wish our season A's weren't a thing. I can't feel shit when I use a condom. Damn, bro, I feel bad for you. Yeah, condoms suck, bro, but I mean, if you, if you gotta go on AIDS.com, bro, and find other girls have AIDS, then you can not wear a well, condom. Well, you all just walked past two heifers you actually might have had a chance with. Be realistic and start approaching realistic opportunities. What girls would we walk past? 
We didn't, what is a heifer? We didn't walk past any goals. I mean, realistic opportunity, like, what are you trying to say? He's a fucking moderator, okay? Yeah, dude, any, I don't do shit. I'll just, like, sit at home and play Fortnite. Like, he can get all the pussy he wants. I'm a gamer. Enough of your shit. I'm a gamer. We're all gamers, man. We're epic Fortnite gamers. Man. We're right. something to rise and grind. This is the plan, Stevie. Yeah, what? We're going to wait until Rainy Street and 6th Street gets lit tonight. <sighs> oh, hell yeah. We're going to go out 6th yeah. Street tonight, Rainy Street bars. tonight. I'm gonna try and hit up some of the bars to see if they will let me record inside of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, that's the plan. And then we can find girls like that. They will fuck. They are drunk. They will have sex. What? That sounds. That sounded really bad. He will be drunk too. What are you? Where are you going? I'm not going in this motherfucking library, dude. <laughs> no, like it's gonna get fucking. No. No. Stevie, no. We already you have. We can. I refuse. I I don't. That's not a good idea. Don't don't go in there. I'll no. film him for a minute. No, no, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I just no. Stevie needs to approach BBWS, then work his way up to Bubble Butts. No, I said I said no fucking stores, dude. Alright. Yeah, sorry. I, I mean, I want to go in there. There's a lot of people, but like, I know I said no fucking source. It was lit, dude. They're listening to fucking 21 Savage and shit. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Ice is just waiting in the stream and stalling in a student parking lot. Go <laughs> grab Stevie a bottle of Jack and watch him pull all the salutes of Texas. Ooh, Show him who yeah. the real cow bows CX. Fucking real cow. Yeah, Are you yeah. actually a Discord mod, you absolute legend? He is a Discord mod. He's Stevie G on Discord. Hit me up, bro. Alright, like I was saying. Rainy Street. Band all condoms. Rainy Street, 6, I agree. Rainy Street, 6th Street tonight. I'm gonna call the bars. We're gonna get fucking girl. They're gonna be drunk. They're gonna be like horny. They're gonna. We can do this, Stevie. Hell yeah, dude, of course. We can do this. Not going into places. Stick to your guns. Fuck yeah, Ice. Yeah, I mean, I don't wanna cause any issues. Um. <laughs> So this is the, this is the plan. <laughs> it just literally went in and out like this is gonna happen. Th this is the plan. Um, we're gonna go back to the house, okay? Yeah. We're gonna stream later tonight on Sixth Street or Rainy Street or both or whatever. Yeah, guys. So stay tuned. What time is it right now? The shit doesn't start getting late. Okay, the shit doesn't start getting late. It's like eleven. We're gonna go back live at eleven o'clock, Texas time. So it is. That is 9 o'clock LA time. So, we're gonna go live at that. It's a Saturday night, so y'all don't have to go to school or anything tomorrow, so just fucking stay up. We're gonna go, we're gonna fucking go to the fucking the streets tonight where it's lit, it's Saturday. There's gonna be girls, they're gonna be drunk, they're gonna wanna come back to the goddamn house with Stevie. Um, Hell yeah. Okay, so, we're gonna make this work, but we're not waiting four hours for the shit to start getting lit. So, we're gonna end the stream. We're gonna come back at 11. So do you think I caught something from this stripper? She let me raw dog her. Yes. Why the... Why the hell would you raw dog a stripper? That's asking for it. That, like... Homie, like... What the fuck? We're gonna come back at 11 o'clock, alright? At 11 o'clock, this shit will be lit. And, uh... I mean, I, I hope, uh... I hope we're the only one streaming out there. Otherwise, uh, the content will be gravitating to not enough different places. So, come back at 11 o'clock. We'll see you guys then. We need to take a shower. We need to change this fucking shirt. And uh, I think it's going to end up with, uh, with something good tonight. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. This... Didn't really work out the way we wanted, but it was still kind of interesting. Like, I mean, I had fun. I don't know. It's kind of fun regardless. Motherfucking Stevie's a fun, cool guy. What do y'all think of Stevie? He's a, he's a, you're a funny ass dude, bro. Like, I like you. You're funny as shit, dude. Thank you. You're, you're like a natural. Oh, thank you. Except at picking up girls. Fuck. <laughs> but that's fine, because I'm not good either. I just say I have clout. But that doesn't work half the time either. Yeah, I don't have clout. That's probably why it doesn't work for me. But, alright, we're gonna end the stream. We'll see you guys later. Thank you all for Deuces. watching. Peace to the east. We'll be back at 11. Trust me, fucking. If I don't come back at 11, you can fucking lynch me. Alright, so we'll see you guys.
We can see you guys in a couple hours, alright? Peace. Love you.